What's up, dudes? Hello, hope you're all doing great. I know I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, YouTube was having a hard time, like, connecting, but it finally did. It finally did. We're here. I'm in the middle of making a character, uh, making it look ridiculous, as one does. As one does. Making it a little cringy. So, let's continue on, shall we? Let's go with the cheeks. I want to... I want to see what we can do here. Let's uh, let's narrow this up. There we go. There we go. Gorgeous. Thank you. Widen that out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mouth expression. We want, we want bad. She kind of looks angry, right? looking a little pissed a little bit upset yeah she mad she real mad she big mad let's see jawline oh yeah she's even more mad even more angry Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like it. Let's go ahead and start this up and, uh, you know, get this show on the road. Let's do it. I am starting off as a prophet because I want to catch flame everything. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you all for tuning in. What we're doing here today is we're just kind of casually playing Elden Ring while we wait for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to come out in the next few days. That's what we have going on. Thank you all for tuning in, coming to hang out with me. Cosmic Kitty, thank you for eight months of membership. I hope you're doing okay. Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Tell us and I hope you're doing okay, dude. What's up, little monster? Corn, Richard, Jaden, Nimrod, Purex, Co Korea, Terry Rose, Daz. Leaving a like? Hey, thanks. Thanks for leaving the like. Yeah, she's real pretty, dude. She's gorgeous. Nimrod, thank you for 10 months of membership. The all knowing. The, yeah, she, she's she's the she's she's the all knowing. She's taking over. Also, I named her not Rick. I named her not Rick. Sad face, because, I, because that's that's what that's who she aspires to be. Soldier of God, Rick. What's up, Degree? Miss Bradica, Da Dang, Hitman, Chaos Agents, Reginald, Scooter, Avalanche, Alex. What's going on, everyone? Thank you all for tuning in. What's up, Spark? Hendrax, hello. Anke, hello. How about Convergence mod? Did you try that mod? I don't have time to try it right now because Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in a few days. There's no time to really devote to diving in on that mod right now. I just don't have the time. What's up, Agalos? Hey, Dimmy, how you doing? Is it a full run or just all the bosses? Um, We're going to do as much as we can over the next few days. I don't know how thorough it's going to be. I'm doing okay, Captain LaFu. Welcome back. Hey, Tila. Hey, Muddy Water. Thank you all for tuning in. Great to have you back. What's up, Lukito? Did I have a hard time in puberty? Puberty? You told us about your voice, how it just dropped, but I think about other stuff. Um, I'm not going to talk about my puberty. I feel like it's an awkward conversation. <laughs> what do you want to hear? Yeah, I had lots of acne. <laughs> I don't know, man. What's up, Randy? Purex, thank you for six months of membership. Bonk, bonk time with Josh and the best community. Big. Purex, thank you for six months. Girth Brooks, thank you for nine months to smash the likes, people. I agree. Katie Louise, thank you for four months of membership. Hey, Josh, how are you? Plus, I set up the rest of the week due to twisting my ankle that's swollen up. I'm sorry about the ankle. Hopefully, you heal up well. I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Thank you for four months of membership. Anke, I'm aware of the Convergence mod, but I just don't have the time to play it, dude. I don't have the time right now. Uh, I only have a few days until the next game comes out. So. Chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant Gold Mask. <laughs> Ziddy Mick Pimpleson. Fear, the Deathbed Companion. What's up, Greybeard? Hey, Fafnir, how have you been, man? Any tips to platinum on PlayStation for Bloodborne? And Sir Gideon Othnir. They all know it. I think the best way to prepare for it is to just prepare for multiple playthroughs. Just just prepare to play through the game multiple times 
and you'll be able to really focus on getting things done a little bit easier because you'll be able to kind of have different builds that work for different things. You know what I mean? And one other. What's up, Chosen One? Hey, Chalky. Grace would again hey, Barge. Bless. The all-knowing. How you doing, Tad? Judge Judy Run. No <laughs> I did use the hammer a lot on my sorcerer only playthrough. You're good, Lukito. You're good, bud. Terry, how's it going, man? What's up, snowboards? TK as well. Hello. Between. This is going to be an easy playthrough, is it? To stand before is it? The Elden Ring. Anyway, I'm skipping the rest of this. I just wanted to hear Sir Gideon off near the All Knowing. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Uh, real quick, I need to open up a window on my other monitor. There we go. Almost at 100 likes already. Damn, that's nuts. Damn. Thank you for pressing the like button on the video. I appreciate it. What's the theme for this run? Uh, fire. Fire is the theme. Catch flame. I'm going to catch flame some fools. Hey, James, thank you for joining me, man. Guys, later on, if you didn't watch it already, make sure you watch the video I put out today. It's around like 43 minutes, but basically it's the entire story of Redfall, which is about a 20 hour game condensed into 43 minutes. And I actually wrote up a big script for it and I did tons of editing. I tried to make it fun. Even though the game is lackluster, I think the video was pretty fun to make. So if you haven't watched it yet, it would mean a lot if you would later on. Oh boy. What's up, Killua? How you doing? Oh, too early. Well, I mean, I guess I could try to pull off a heal, but I don't think it's going to go so well. Stupid spear. Stupid no damage spear. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the Redfall video's fire. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How's it going, Mel? What's up, Joe? Slam and Smitty? P. Bala? How's it going, everyone? Placeholder. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, uh, Mel, if you're able to, could you uh, turn off that timer for now? That's a placeholder timer, guys. All right. So our character name, as you can see here, is not Rick. You can see in the top left corner, the name is not Rick. So let's go say hello to our brother, Rick. Let's go say hello to him. I would like to give one greeting to Rick. Hey, Juka, how you doing, man? <laughs> Mel, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Any specific challenges this time? It's just kind of, uh, we're, we're, I'm using the next few streams just to kind of catch up with everyone. I haven't streamed a whole lot in the last uh, couple of weeks because I've been making all sorts of video content. And now I'm just kind of, I'm trying to get into the swing of things to where I can live stream as well as make all these videos that I'm making on uh, as well. It's just, you know, I was just learning a lot about editing and how to like speed up my process and whatnot, so just kind of a matter of catching up with everyone and uh, preparing for the next game and whatnot. Hey, Owl. What's up, Zinky? Faith build? Yeah, yeah. Stab. Stab. Kareza, thank you for a whole year at Tier 2 membership, dude. Nuts. Thank you very much, man. This is all hail, not Rick. Not Rick. Thank you, Kerza. I hope you're doing great, man. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of other games that are out, like, that I want to play. I played through Star Wars, but the, the I, I, would, I would keep playing Star Wars, but the performance on the game is so bad that it gets irritating. 
So I didn't want to like, I, I wanted to originally go through and like clean up all the side stuff in that game, but I just don't find it worth struggling with the constant stuttering and stuff. So I said, screw all that. And now because there's not a whole lot of other stuff I want to play, I just wanted to go live, catch up with everyone. And then in a few days, we're going to play Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out. Oof. Burn him. 100 rate 1 to 10 Jedi. Somewhere between 8.5 and, and 9. It's a really good game. Just frustrating to play because of performance issues. How about Darkest Dungeon 2? So, I really enjoy Darkest Dungeon, uh, the first game. But I actually use that as my, my own... Okay, so what I do is every so often a game comes out that I really, really like, and I kind of use that game as my game away from content. Darkest Dungeon is one of those type of games that I play outside of my content. In fact, when it comes to a lot of turn-based stuff like that in general, I think I'm going to be doing that for the future as well, including Baldur's Gate. As much as I do want to make content on these things, I do enjoy them a lot, but making content around them can get really tedious. So I'm just going to use those as my own games that I play in my own time away from content. Validus comes in and says, how the fuck can you manage to play this game over and over and over again? Get a life. Valid, you literally only say anything when I play Elden Ring and you completely ignore all the other multiple dozens of games that I've played throughout the last year. That's a you problem, dude. I have played literally multiple dozens of other games on my channel in the last year. But the fact of the matter is, is you only say anything at all when I play Elden Ring. That's a you problem, dude. I don't know. Fix that up, man. Come to the left course. Fix yourself. You Atska 100. Thank you for the five, or the five euros currently doing a gravity sorcerer build any tips by the way love your streams hey thank you very much i appreciate the kindness thank you very much gravity sorcerer i would say make sure that you involve meteoric blade in there because it also has a little bit of gravity on there but also goes with the build well either that or the uh the, the great sword that has the uh the rift ability i'm drawing a blank on the name just now I forgot to actually change over my flasks, by the way. Beep, beep. Ruins Greatsword. Yeah, the Ruins Greatsword also goes really well with that build. The reason why I mentioned these weapons is because while they do have gravity-based uh, sorcery in the Ash of War, it's also a matter of you want to have something physical uh, for damage to supplement it as well, if that makes sense. What's up, Trucker Sam? How you doing, bud? Thank you for eight months of membership. It says, hi, Josh. Hey, man. How you doing? How you doing? What up? What up? Damages. Damages. What's up, Menacing Hammer? How's it going, man? Be wary of rump, therefore fire. Hey, Christian, how you doing? Pankrats, hello?
Okay, my character did not roll there at all. Hey, Queen Ganyu, what's up? Love my streams. Thank you, RKV. I appreciate it. Oh. What's up, Bren? Pointy sticks are underrated. Yeah, I do enjoy a good spear. I don't know, Sir Boff. I'm just here playing video games, having a good time, man. Hey, Rakib. C2C, hello. All right, it's been like, I don't know, three, four weeks since I last played this game. Feels good to first try that. Took a few bad hits, but we got through it. No, watch stream now, read later. What do you mean? Watch stream now, read book later. Yeah. What the heck? Hey, Seth, how you doing? Who do you think's harder? Any Souls main boss or Ravis? Last time I'm saying it, I'm spamming. No, you're good, Spark. Um, A lot of the Souls main bosses, I say, are harder than Ravis. Uh, the, the thing that made me struggle the most with, like, Ravis is the stuttering in the game itself. Once you understand the mechanics of, like, parrying and dodging in that game, a lot of the bosses aren't so bad. That's why I didn't spend uh, multiple hours on most bosses. In fact, I defeated Ravis in just, like, 40 minutes or so. I keep trying to level up and get golden seeds going and shit, but I can't do that yet. But, uh... A good example is I spent a couple hours fighting Margit my first playthrough. Literally two hours fighting Margit. And the game was running just fine back then. You know? So I, I would say, you know, any Elden Ring main boss is harder than any boss in uh, Star Wars. What's a good Souls like you recommend? I mean, Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, and Jedi Survivor are good. I would start with Fallen Order so you understand story and give uh, Jedi Survivor time to get patched up to increase the quality of performance. What's up, Logan? I'm just doing a bit of a faith run. Hey, anime. How you doing? Can't wait for Armored Core 6. Never played any of it, but we know from software we deliver. Man, I love Armored Core. I've played all of the Armored Core games, and I love them through and through. Love those games so much. What's up, 8-Ball? How come people talk smack when you're just trying to play games? I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. Greetings. Traveler I don't really post and chat a lot, but I love your content regardless of the games you play. Nico, I you're a boss. Leonard. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you being here. What's up, Mr. Nate? Armored Core OG? Yeah, the first time I played it was on a PS1 demo disc. It was soon after that that I uh, went out and did a bunch of chores and stuff around the neighborhood to raise enough money so I could actually go buy a copy of the I game because I liked the demo that much. Accord. Have you heard of the finger made? They serve at you. Night Hunter Turn Nix, thank you for the 10 at BGN. Why the gravity, sor gravity sorcerer get a job as a comedian? Because he always knew how to bring the house down. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Night Hunter Nix, thank you for the generosity. I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, no, Sam. No, no, uh, no mods on this one at all. No mods whatsoever. All right, let me see. Let me... No. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Hello. Catch flame? Hmm. 
Hello. What's up, Grumpus? Do, 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 do. Hey, or have a... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, have a stabby. You want a stabby? Nice. Oof. Everyone gets a stab. Everyone's getting a stab today. You're getting the fire, though. You understand. Sometimes you just got to do it to them. I don't even know why I'm grabbing this stuff, I'll be honest with you. Let me go over here, kill the man with the horn right here. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Hey man, how you doing? Windows update prepare for restart. Yeah, that's how it goes, Mel. <laughs> Such is the way, right? All right, I'm going to open up uh, this guy with a sneak attack. Just wait for him to turn around. Just today, I thought when you'll stream Elden, unless you have more games queued up soon. I do have uh, more games queued up soon. I do. Tears of the Kingdom comes out in just a couple days. What's the button for parry? Uh, R or L2. Alright, I don't like how these guys are grouped up here. This isn't very cash money. Oh. So your Redfall video, very enlightening. I hope you enjoyed it, James. I hope you liked it, man. It should have been a backstab. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't. Not sure why it was not. I did? Good. Good, good, good. I'm going to play Bramble the Mountain King. I may in the future. I kind of want to like maybe make a video on it. What do you want, dude? All right. All these guys are clear. Let's go kill a... Oh, shoot. I never did the thing. Let's go do some dungeons to get some quick levels, shall we? What's your opinion on Redfall? I thought it was my game of the year, even with its problems. I didn't like it overall. Uh, the game, um, I don't know. I can see what they were going for, and I am a, a big fan of Arcane Studios and a lot of what they've done. But overall, the actual performance of the game and the quality of it just really mismatched my expectations. What's up, man? How you doing, man? It's fine if you enjoyed the game overall, though. I'm not going to take that away from you. That's just my thoughts. Heard the rumor of From Software's new game. Are you talking about Armored Core? It's not a rumor, it's official. Should I Platinum Dark Souls Trilogy or Crash Bandicoot 4? I mean, I say Dark Souls if you're asking me. Spellbound, okay. Spellbound? I'll have to uh, look into that later, I guess. Hello, sir. I come bearing fire and pointy sticks. You want to talk about it? Oof.
Oof. <laughs> Ubisoft's take on Hogwarts, you're an assassin, Harry. Yeah, pretty much. What boss do you think is going to be the most difficult uh, for a character like this? Probably Twin Gargoyles. Captain, thank you for the 20 Danish. I appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you very much for the kindness. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. What up, Luke? What up, Gerald? Love the video you put on Redfall. Thanks, Chucker. I appreciate it, man. Have I tried Control? Yeah, Control was good stuff, man. Control was good stuff. I enjoyed my time with that game. I guess the only thing that concerns me uh, with From Software is if they do have another game coming out called Spellbound, then... Or, you know, just another game in general, then I feel like they're going to start... They've got to be crunching so hard there. I know that crunch has already been a well-known established thing from software, but I, I just hope they don't take it to an extreme. I definitely prefer quality over quantity. They've already put out so many great games, I would really... Uh, I would hate to see them hurt their reputation by releasing half-baked stuff like so many studios are doing. They sound, uh, rumors sound pretty insubstantial. Yeah, they often do. I don't even know why I went that way. That was not necessary at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, hold on. No, 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 yeah, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Sorry, I'm getting a little confused as to what dungeon I'm in right now. FromSoft has been known to develop multiple games at a time. Yes, but not uh, not to a level that is something where they're working on two unreleased games at a time, right? Like, they can work on, say, like, Elden Ring DLC and Armored Core, but if they have a third project going on simultaneously, unless they have a massive workforce, I don't know how many people are working there, then that's something that can, uh, you know, it can cause a lot of damage to the quality of something. Hey, Lewis. How you doing, man? Been unwell. Flu got me. Still recovering. Glad to be here for another Elden Ring stream. Good to have you here, bud. Hope you get better real soon. Sorry you're not feeling great. Hey, Ryan. What's up, T-Ghost? What's up, Frag Dad? How you doing? Elden Ring brought money in their pockets, I think, and on just from Elden Ring, people started trying other FromSoft gear. Oh yeah, for sure, Beeritis, absolutely. Yeah, that was definitely a cash cow for them. I just, uh, I would like to see them continue to produce games of this level instead of, like, you know, reverting back into something potentially lesser. That's all. That's my concern. I don't think that they will, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they have a great plan and they're able to do what they want to do in a very capable manner. It's just one of those things as a big fan of most of what they put out. I don't want to see them lose that. You know what I mean? That's all. Uh, Tom, I'm doing a bit of a faith build. Not sure what weapons I'm going to end up using, but I'm going to be using a lot of pyromancies. Just because they're working on it doesn't mean a lot of people are working on it. Eh, I mean, if they're going to be dedicating to a project at all, man, they're going to dedicate manpower to it, too. It's AAA video game development. They don't put a project on the board without dedicating a lot of resources to it as well. They're not going to greenlight something and then put not not put manpower on it.
Damn, I keep missing that parry. Miyazaki did not take on Armored Core, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure he, uh, that's how we got his start at From Software. I know he was involved in uh, Four Answer. All right, that's done. Let me think, let me think. We got that dungeon there, but also a dragon right there. Let's go do dragon things, shall we? Let me get some level ups here. Level up. A little more faith on hands. What's up, Eric? Wing Scythe is pretty good early faith weapon. Yeah, Wing Scythe is fun too. I like the Ash of War on it. Am I doing a fate build this time? Faith, yeah, faith. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to keep my eyes out for a weapon I've not really used much of before. We'll see what happens. Mel, thank you for making the command. I appreciate it a lot. Burn the dragon's feet. Burn them. What's up, Raja? How you doing? Yo, guys, this is crazy. Thank you for 200 likes on the video already. Not the to toe beans? Oh, yes, the toe beans. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, the toe beans, my dude. What up, Sauce Lord? Redneck, good to see you, man. What's the run this time? We're doing some faith stuff. Just gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Uh. I should have named it George Michael. Oh my God. Why didn't I name my character George Michael, guys? Just gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Uh. Baby. Oh, that's a tail. You can change it. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe we'll rename our character to George Michael. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't crush me. Thank you for not crushing me. Something about fighting this dragon seems absurdly cruel, right? It just seems absurdly cruel. Yo, Breadloaf, thank you for two months of memberships. Is ban Arizona green tea? No, Bread. Don't do this to me, brother. Don't do this to me, man. I need my green tea, brother. I need my green tea. <laughs> Brad, thank you for two months. And Matt, thank you for 12 months of membership, a whole year. I loved your Redfall video. I love seeing the growth and effort into making quality video content. Awesome work. Thank you so much, Matt. I'm glad that you enjoy the video, dude. It took me right around like 30 to 35 hours for everything involved to put that video together. I'm talking like playing through the entire game, recording everything, um, you know, writing the script, you know, doing the voiceover, all the editing all that stuff so realistically for my first attempt at a video like that that's really not bad 
and I'm only going to get faster at it as time goes on too. So I definitely plan on doing that with more games as time goes on. Condensing entire games into a single video in under an hour, or if it's a very lengthy game, I can do that for like, you know, several videos for a game. You know what I mean? What does IMO mean? In my opinion. Ethan's on how to level up fast. Kill bosses. Bosses give the most experience. Find ones that you can pick on early, like the dragon I just killed, the first few dungeons like I'm doing now. They're the easiest and fastest to take out. And if you can, you know, work through them quickly, you can get really fast experience. But also, there's no shame in just kind of taking it slow and farming some uh, some lower level areas until you get better at the combat and stuff, too. Definitely something that can go a long way. Have you used Clean Rot Spear before? Very minimally. Very, very minimally. My grandma loved George Michael. God rest her soul. What a lady. George Michael, man. Like, a lot of people won't admit it, but a lot of people enjoyed uh, enjoyed his music. I mean, I did, too. I'm a metal guy. I enjoy, I enjoy George Michael. I just enjoy quality music, you know? Not saying that my taste is better than anyone else's, but my, I, I take it as I'm a very... I don't know. I have a very distinct thing about music's. If if a if a if a sound gives me chills, like if I feel chills go down my arm and up my back, then I consider that something quality and I enjoy listening to it. And there's plenty of songs in every genre that I can think of that do that for me. I listen to mostly metal because that's what I enjoy the most, but I can realistically listen to almost everything. I think the only genre I don't like in that regard is just country. I don't do country. At least modern country. Careless Whisper is the best song. Dude, that's such a good song, yeah. Such a great tune. Hey, Jacqueline. Hope you're doing well. Anime, thank you for two months of membership. I really enjoyed your streams community. Josh, have you seen the new Chrono Odyssey gameplay yet? Thoughts? Dude, I swear to God, anime, if that if that game is real... <laughs> I'm not saying... I, I, I have no reason to believe it's not real. But if they have gameplay that runs as well as that video showed it running as i can't see myself not playing it and the fact that it's being advertised as an mmo holy shit dude holy shit if that game is real i'm all over it that game looks absolutely incredible i actually shared the gameplay reveal trailer for that game in discord a few days ago god that game looks so good gave me goosebumps dude it looks sick yeah it looks amazing. This is uh, this is the power of catch flame, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen to Ghost, yeah, good band. Panic of the Disco, not so much into them. Any plans to check out the Convergence mod? Possibly in the future, Redneck Ninja. I was actually considering checking it out now, but I only have a few days until Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and I want to dedicate more time to, you know, new games when they come out. So I didn't want to get started on the Convergence mod now when there's something else that's coming out so soon. You know what I mean? So that's why I, uh... I didn't touch on that now. Perhaps in the future. We're doing a faith build, Andy. What's up, El Duderino? What's up, Bruno? Just finished Jedi Survivor last night myself. Makes me want a blaster stance in Elden Ring. Can you imagine? <laughs> Wait, maybe there's a mod somehow. Someone can mod a blaster into the game. I don't think Convergence mod is the final version or polished yet, so it's good for you to wait. Yeah, if that's the case, if it's like an early access thing, then it might be better to wait a while. Am I going to stream the new Zelda? Yes. Do you feel chills with the Alabama song? Um, are you talking Sweet Home Alabama? Because that's the only thing I can think of. And no, I know I do not. That one doesn't do it for me. Storm
stormy weather lately. Yeah, we had a massive storm yesterday. What's up, Anne Rose? Also, Anne, hope you're doing great. Good to have you here. A wild chance. Did I beat Star Wars Survivor? Yes. Yes, I did. Metal band suggestions. I would say Ginger, Gojira, Trivium, In Flames, um, Stradivarius. What else can I think of off the top of my head that I've listened to lately? Um... Hold on, I'm gonna die. If it isn't Narius, bloody finger, the end is blood. Ow. Oh my god, sir. Just die, man. Thank you. Yes, Behemoth is a great one. Mastodon, Lamb of God, Heaven Shall Burn. Um, kill Switch Engage is good. Yeah, I like Kill Switch. I would say maybe older Avenged Sevenfold. I don't like a lot of their stuff post Bad Country. When does Here's the Kingdom release? On the 12th. Spirit Box, a great one, yeah. Spirit Box is great. Era, oh my god, Era. Era has quickly become one of my favorite bands ever. E-R-R-A. What a good band. Yo, Chris with 15 months says nerge. <laughs> Nerdga. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Thank you for 15 months. Gen X, thank you for a whole year, dude. Says, Happy first anniversary to us. Wait till you see what I'm wearing after dinner tonight. Schnookums. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I well, well. hope you're doing great, Gen X. Good to see you, dude. And thank you for a year of membership. Welcome back. Silent Wake. Thank you for the $5 super chest. Is big fan of your streams, man. Great channel. And yes, change that name. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, dude. We're gonna be George Michael as soon as I can change it. Thank you very much for the five, man. I appreciate it loads. Go ahead, sneeze. Sneeze at me. Do it. All right, guys, one in the chat to let him live, two to make him die. One to let him live, two to kill him. Oh, that's a lot of twos. You guys are jerks. I like your style. I like your style. going all right basty um plan is doing a faith build that's a lot of twos guys you're cruel you are cruel mostly due to how rude he is in dark souls 3 he's rude in everything he's in what's up anthony we're just playing for a few days until the next game comes out man how long am I streaming? Uh, for at least uh, somewhere between the next three and four hours. All right, let's see. Need 15 dexterity to make that spear work. Missing out on the goat set when you kill patches, I think. Yeah, you are. Indeed. Am 
I ready for Tears of the Kingdom? I am. I am indeed. I'm not sure why it didn't actually do the critical hit there, but whatever. Yo, Anthony, thank you for the $5 super chat, man. Says we love some Elden feed from Josh. What's the next game? Drinks on me today. Yo, thank you, Anthony, for the fiver. The five spots. I appreciate it, dude. Next game is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which comes out in uh, just a few days on the 12th. I wanted to kind of do something a little bit more on the casual side. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Damn it. I healed wrong. Just to kind of chat and catch up with you guys, uh, discuss, you know, my recent video as well as uh, discuss upcoming games. Do you know if they're still working on an open world Star Wars game? Uh, I have no idea, man. I truly just do not know. I do not know. What's up, cat? Nice, Awaznek. Nice. Man, I'm really bad at fighting imps. What's up, Biggie? Where do you pre-order the Zelda game? Uh, usually in the Nintendo store if you're going digital or if you want to get it uh, physical, then, you know, any game retailer. Oh my Christ, dude. Zelda for PC, it's only Switch. Typical Nintendo first party nonsense, you know? What's up, Bootney? Any release date for Elden Ring DLC? Uh, the, the current uh, thought process is a lot of people think it's going to be out in the fall because they're releasing Armored Core 6 late summer. So they think that like mid to late fall, may possibly early winter, somewhere in quarter four, essentially. I'm doing okay, Biggie. Yeah, everything's all right on my side, man. Everything's all right. Ouch, man. Pain. Ow, he hit me through the wall. Right, hold on, hold on, wait. Let me remove this here put it here on this side that makes more sense to me oh, I rolled early man Drink the juice. No touchy. Ouch.
What's up, Lisa? How's it going today? Yeah, exactly, Evan. The imps are harder than the bosses. I agree. Exactamundo. Okay, okay. Let's go here. Ride our horse south. Okay, let's see. Level up. 92 more levels into my dexterity stat. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go beat up a Bloodhound Knight, shall we? Oi! Oi! You, you there. No. No, I'm not listening to you. Bye. Bye. Hey, come here. Determination. Wow. Not as of yet, Chris. The current, uh, the current thought process or rumor is quarter four this year. Anyone think we'll get chain, chained weapons in the DLC like full Kratos build? I unfortunately doubt it. I'd love to see it because I would love to make like, man, I wish they would, they would have the, uh, the Grave Warden Duelist weapons work the same way as they do for them with the chain effect, especially if you're dual wielding the hammers. I would absolutely make a build like that, but I just don't see them doing that. Which game have you enjoyed the most in 2023? I've only played Hogwarts so far. Um... Probably Resident Evil 4 Remake, closely followed by Dead Space Remake. Hey guys, thank you for 300 likes in the first hour of the stream today. That's nuts. Thank you very much. Have you eaten a Mondo burger before back in the day right next to Good Burger? <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? You know what Good Burger 2 is actually happening, guys? Did you know that that's real? I'm not kidding, by the way. That, that's real life. That's really happening. Yo, Lethal2687, becoming a member of the channel. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very, very much. Hope you enjoy the emotes and stuff. Thank you. Ouch. Oh my god, I didn't roll. What's up, Melania? Soon to be usurped by Tears of the Kingdom? I mean, possibly. I did enjoy uh, Breath of the Wild a lot. My concern with... My major concern with uh, Tears of the Kingdom is... It's, I know it's only going to be 30 FPS. And anymore, 30 FPS causes me a lot of eye strain. And that's definitely going to be a factor overall for me playing it. What's up, dude? Arena? Thank you for five bucks. Thank you for five spot. I watched your Malakef vid yesterday and started to parry him after. Never really messed with it before. Very satisfying. Thanks. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. I'm glad that I helped you out, man. That's great. Thank you for the fiber. Thank you very much. Wanted to try to parry that attack. Didn't work out so well.
I hope so, Melania. What's up, Atlantis? Okay. Okay. Let's see. We have enough for another level up. Where are more bosses? Oh, I guess we can go do that one. You guys down for a little crucible night? Really think COVID killed the Good Burger sequel? I mean, they didn't even formally announce it until like earlier this year, right? Or late last year. So I wouldn't say that so soon. But the Hogwarts story is one of the weakest parts. You know, I um, I thought, you know, I I thought it was okay. I thought the I I think the game overall was just okay. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't think I don't think it's nearly like my top game of the year by any means. I enjoy playing it. I'm glad that I did. But certainly not going to be a top game for me this year. Is it insulin? Am I am I saying that name right? Insulin in insulin? Thanks for joining us. Faith, Smitty. Faith. Everyone here. Only to have they do know is quite them. You and heading to some ties while that, but I don't have it's scared. I want to know. So glad they made it? Yeah. Yeah. The uh, one of the biggest issues I take with it though, this is this might seem weird, but you guys hear about the uh the Quidditch multiplayer game that's coming out? There is a Quidditch multiplayer game being released at some point where Hogwarts Legacy, they uh, they straight up didn't have Quidditch involved in it, despite that being part of like the, uh, you know, the, the entirety of the culture around Hogwarts. So they excluded it from Hogwarts Legacy, but now they're putting a whole game around it. I don't know, that just feels dirty to me. That feels really dirty to me. I thought the setting was amazing. The flying mechanics were awesome. The combat was generally cool, but the story was totally forgettable. Yeah, I largely agree. I largely agree, man. Character looks like he got more chin than Jay Leno. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, Marcus? Wouldn't that be pointless? You catch the snitch and you win. The other rules will be hella ignored. I'm sure they're going to involve something that's going to make it so it has to, it's, it'll be like difficult to, uh, to do, or it'll be like, uh, it'll come down to a matter of like, it'll, it only appears at a certain point in the, in the round. And then from there, it's a matter of just weighing the, the value of the snitch versus everything else. Can't you parry the tail? It's a spell, so no.
sequence of my build right now is just the starting build of the Prophet class. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> What's up, Twisted? How you doing? Want to do an Elden Ring lore through Videothon watch along with us? Could be a good time. Uh, I got to be honest with you. I probably will not do that. I understand a lot of people do like the lore and stuff, but I feel very unsure about it in a lot of directions and stuff like that. Like I, I don't, I can follow certain parts of it, but a lot of it for me is just pure speculation. And as far as all that goes, it's like a matter of if I were to watch other people's videos on stream, then my streams could be, could get copyright claimed as well. And I don't want to risk that. Plus, I'm not a fan of using other people's content to make my own. Not really into the whole, like, react scene. Plans for 40k Discord party? I don't know yet. We're getting close, though. I don't quite know yet. Name's Let me ask Are you here? Does your despite... Watching Josh fight Crucible Knights is a great American pastime? Hell yeah. Recently, I saw a video where the topic was raised that turning off the HUD increases the immersion of the game. Would you try such a run? Oh, it can absolutely increase the immersion. The issue that I have is uh, I need to see the, the, uh, the mana pool for a build like this, for example, the most. So that way I know like how much mana I have because you actually get penalized if you try to cast a spell and you don't have enough mana to do it. You've played this before? Yeah, I've played this game many times. Man, what are you doing? Go away. Not you, Chad. I'm talking to this guy. Bernal, go away, man. Why do I always have to talk to him twice to get him to leave? I don't understand. It's the weirdest thing to me. Oh, I failed my roll. Played it many times, but have you played it blindfolded? That's a negative. Dagger's still your favorite playthrough? As far as like the weapon specific ones, yeah, it's pretty up there. Matt, they give the $2 super chat, man. New vid, juice destroys Elden Ring lore. <laughs> Reaction. <laughs> Need to buy something? No, you don't have to buy something to get him to go away. You just have to talk to him a few times. My character's blindfolded right now, yeah. True. True. Yo, Bren, thank you for eight months at tier two membership. You're telling me this is some kind of old ring? Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you right now. The idea was pitched in the office over at From Software, and it's like, guys, listen, what if we made a game that plays like Dark Souls 4? But we talk about a ring instead. Yeah. Yeah.
And there's our dexterity for our plus seven spear. And now I can two hand it, which we'll do for now. I need to put another point or two into strength. Actually, what is my strength at? Yeah, I just need one point in strength. Yeah. Where's this guy? Come out of hiding. Heidi Heiderson. Go away. Plus seven spear, dude. Henricus, you're next. Come and get it. Ow. Ow. Why do you swing that so fast? Sir, that's that's lava. You can't do that. Sir, you seem to be burning. Are you gonna heal? Oh damage. Alright, dude, listen. Stop. It's time to stop. What's up, RVG? How you doing? If you'd be reincarnated as an Elden Ring boss, would you do it? No. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, I don't want to spend the rest of my days fighting people fighting all these people that claim to be gods at different video games i'm good no no i'm good man nope all right guys listen i gotta i gotta pee real quick i'm gonna do that real fast in the meantime enjoy my face okay enjoy my face Thank you all for leaving a like on the video, by the way. I appreciate it. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. We're back. That face, Josh. Why? Why not, Shorzy? Why not? That's the real question here, right? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go party on the beach. What's up, Kevin? Handsome Squidward with ponytails. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Amber, I agree. The only fictional world I wouldn't immediately die or just generally have a miserable existence in, video game or otherwise, would be Pokemon World. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, take in the ambient screaming noises around Limgrave. I went the wrong way. Yo, Kevin, thank you for nine months of membership. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the continued support here, man. It means a lot. Using only regular fire, we'll be using Giant's Flame slash Black Flame. I'm going to avoid Black Flame just because I've done that on so many playthroughs already. I actually really enjoy Black Flame. I'm just using uh, regular pyromancy stuff, and, you know, I'll, I'll probably use some other spells here and there, too. One of these voices tried to figure it out and only fell down a hole and died. There's people that are crucified around that hole, Nix. They're the ones screaming. Claiming the fell god is the jam. <laughs> Flame Art Ash? No, I won't be using any uh, Fire Ash of Wars. Just to kind of spread out my damage types. Going Tree Spear? I might utilize it. We'll see what happens. I, I, I really want to find a weapon that I've not used a whole lot of. So we'll see. Uh, I have no real plans around anything specifically just yet. I, I just want to try to find something I've not really used much of yet. Even if it's not great. Your fists? I mean, I've used fist weapons. And you don't play this game with bare fists because you do two... It's somewhere between two and eight damage per hit. And they don't scale on anything, so that's pointless. That would just be a very boring, tedious playthrough. It, it's not even fun after you kill one boss with it. After that, it's like, okay, never again. Cypher Pot, I actually used that in my very first playthrough. When I'm playing the Convergence mod, possibly when it's finished. Alright, this dungeon is really dark and I don't have the, uh, I don't have any light, so, sorry guys. But yeah, Convergence mod is playable, but it's not finished apparently, so... It's so dark in here. Yes, everyone's screaming. This is where Screamer lives, guys. Ow, just kill it. Do, 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 
I don't need to go through the other side. Just saw your Instagram post. Do you like Redfall? Um, overall, I didn't think it was great. I've played worse, but it's definitely something that should have been better coming from Arcane Studios. Uh, but you should definitely watch the video. Definitely watch the video that I put out on it. In fact, uh, guys, the video I put out today is something... Let me, let me talk about this for a minute. The video that I put out today is very important to me. Extremely important to me. I know a lot of you guys watch my channel for my live stream content, but I've been trying to up the overall quality and, you know, efforts into my videos in general. It would mean a lot if after stream today, you would take some time to check it out. Even if you don't like Redfall, I promise you the video was worth it. I go out of my way to basically explain the whole story, which is about 20 hours of gameplay in about 42, 43 minutes. And I put a lot of fun twists on it. Even outside of the gameplay itself, the video itself, I, in my opinion, is pretty fun. It would mean a lot if you could check that out sometime later. Notice that you mentioned Destiny 2 on the Jedi Survivor stream. Do you like the game? I like Destiny 2, but it doesn't have nearly the content flow to keep me interested for more than a week. They do such a slow drip feed of their content that I have no interest in it. They, they, they pretend like um, they play around with the idea of being an MMO without putting out the type of content that an MMO needs to thrive. I'm not saying the game does poorly because it does great, but imagine if they went full MMO with it. If they went full on MMO, embrace the idea, then the game would be absolutely enormous. But instead, they do a slow drip feed of everything, and that bothers me. Can you hear me? Help me. Thanks, Steve. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Ever use the Urge Steel Dagger? A little bit, yeah. Is this something you're going to do for not so great games? It's going to be something that I do for any game that I play in general. If it's something that I, I, I figure could like, I look at it like this. It's not so much the game that I'm playing more. I'm making videos on things that I want to try to have fun with, whether the game is good or not. I, I don't know if I explained that right. The whole idea is I found a way to make videos that I find fun as well. And I want to share that with more people. That's essentially it. It'll be for games that I enjoy, games that I don't enjoy, just games in general. Nice, Smitty. Love when that happens, man. Damn, I hate when he goes back here. Stop missing, man. are kind of dancing around in water <laughs> the fire doesn't do a whole lot of damage right now that's all right
Hey, thanks, Cupid. Do you own multiple copies of this? Yeah, I own this game on every platform that it's on. Or, well, I'm sorry. I should say I have this on PC, PS5, and Xbox series. I forgot this is also on Xbox One and PS4. I don't have copies of those. Have you seen Elden Ring Bingo? Yes. If, if so, do you think you'd be good at it? No. <laughs> nope. I don't have the mindset of like a speed runner or even a no hit runner. And so I feel like you need to have that type of mindset in order to actually make, make the bingo things actually work out for you. If you don't have the capabilities of speed running the game, then generally speaking, it's going to be hard to really get some bingo stuff going properly. If that makes sense. All right, let's go grab the map for the area as well as we can uh, go get the first half of the Dectus. Hey, Zubasa, how you doing? Soul Render, thank you for the five euros for the pitchy voice on boss kill. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> thank you very much, Soul Render, for the kindness. I don't know that I've ever seen a Tibia Mariner get poised broken. It's a lot easier to do if you just kind of stay on top of them. Uh, they seem to have a decent amount of poise for a lot of stuff, though. But overall, they're really not terrible to break. It's just because they constantly have, like, all those area of effect spells that a lot of people have to, you know, break their stance on them and, like, walk away instead of actually breaking their poise because otherwise it's just, like, uh... You, you risk taking a good amount of splash damage. All right. Sacred Blade is good. We like that. We are enjoyers of Sacred Blade. You can play the new, the other Armored Core games to, to play the new one. I might check out uh, 4 and 5 again, Pete, just because they're more recent. And by more recent, I mean like, you know, in the last 15 years. <laughs> What's up, Ludo Zeal? How you doing, man? All right, let's go grab the map. Favorite NPC. Hmm. Probably Alexander. It's like playing Skyrim before ES6 comes out. True. True. Oh, Pete, you're asking if you should, if you need to play them. Sorry, I totally misread your question, Pete. Um, so the way they're building the game, because it's been so long since the last one, you probably will not need to. But if you do want to pick up on, like, the background lore of the game... I would say play the main title entries. You can play Armored Core, Armored Core 2, Armored Core 3, Armored Core 4, and then Armored Core 5. I would say if you really want to get immersed in the world, if you enjoy the games, like if, let's say if you enjoy playing 4 or 5, then it might be worth checking out some of the older ones too. But it is certainly not going to be necessary. I'm sure there will be references to the other games in some capacity, but they're all very much so. Even even between like one and two and two and three and then three and four, all of them are very standalone experiences. You do not need to play any one of them to understand what's going on in the one that you're actively playing, right? That's not necessary at all. But if you want to understand how the games work and everything, then I would say it's worth checking them out just for the sake of understanding how the game works. There's a lot of people out there that think because it's a From Software game that it's going to be uh, a Souls-like, and it is not a Souls-like whatsoever. They're still difficult as hell, but they are not Souls-likes at all. And so it might be good to kind of prepare yourself for that idea. Arcane Dex build tips. Bleed and poison, my dude. Bleed and poison are your key there. Build those and you'll do just fine. 
Are you alive? Die. See, my stick is better, dude. My stick is better. If you're building arcane whatsoever, bleed and poison are your friends there, so you can apply those like crazy the, when you build that up more and you have it intrinsically on your weapon. So that would be my recommend, recommendation there. But also, Dexterity has a lot of fast-moving weaponry, so you can go anything from daggers to thrusting swords to, you know, spears and uh, katanas, curved swords, all that stuff. So you can find a lot of really fast and effective ways to make things bleed and poison like crazy. Stop throwing fireballs non-stop, you jerks. Thank you. What challenge is this? It's not a challenge, Tutu. Just casually playing while chatting with everyone, waiting for the next game to come out, which is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in just a few days. Using daggers and bandits curve? Oh yeah, dude. Apply some poison or bleed to those things, man, and oh my god. In fact, I would say put, uh, put poison on one, bleed on the other. You're going to do just fine. Oh, damages. Hey, you walked into the fire. Good job, dude. guy hurts a lot. Bloody Slash. Playing Darkest Dungeon 2. I will be playing it, but in my own time. That's one of my, uh, that's one of those games that I play in my own time, just outside of content. I, I did that with the first game, and I did, I'll be doing that with the second game too. Those, those are some of those games that I really enjoy, but I don't want to make content on. I have certain games like that. I'm actually considering doing that same thing with Baldur's Gate. It hurts because you're not wearing shoes. You know what? That's true. I love how I just slid down that ladder. Barefoot. At this point, I think my feet are more splinters of wood than my own skin. Yep. Yep. Okay, we got that. We go south. Let's go. And with your Legend of Zelda premiere, I'll, I'll be live streaming that one, my dude. I'll be live streaming that. Oh, yeah. I need to look at my calendar and see what games are coming out soon. I'm actually drawing a blank. I'm not sure what the next videos are going to be. What about the new Lords of the Fallen game? I will be playing that, yeah. I will be playing it. Uh, I'm not sure yet, Steve. I've, I've actually looked into so little around Baldur's Gate 3, specifically just to avoid any information around it. So that way, when I play it, it's a completely fresh experience. Man, my wife has been listening to a lot of Limp Biscuit lately, and I have all sorts of Limp Biscuit songs stuck in my head. But I swear, my good father decided himself. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Would you mind my soul, please? Thank you. Then please deliver it to my father. 
and Hyper Lords of the Fallen. I imagine the dev team learned quite a bit from the first one. It's actually a different studio working on it, Jake. They passed on the project to another studio for the second game. All the same, I am excited for it too because the previous one had a lot of great things going on for it. It just didn't really pan out at the end of the day, right? But it was still good. Like, it still had some great qualities to it. So, I'm hoping that, you know, they still look at the first one and take in all that feedback from it and kind of, you know, improve upon that, that formula. Yeah, the Morning Star is a very good weapon. Yeah. It just fell a little short. Yeah, really, really solid game outside of, uh, you know, just the combat itself, really. I think it was still worth playing, though. I just didn't play it enough. I think I'm addicted to my chiropractor. He sets me straight. <laughs> what up, Zach? How you doing, man? I actually need to grab memory stones on this playthrough. So let's get on that, shall we? Great turtle shells. We got two games on my radar, Baldur's Gate 3 in August and Starfield in September. Though Starfield worries me. After the release of Redfall, I'm pretty worried too. I, I, I have to admit I'm pretty concerned. I don't know. Bethesda has a overall, I would say, positive track record considering Elder Scrolls and Fallouts, right? I would say overall positive. But then they do have Fallout 76 on their hands. And then, you know, they actually are the... Uh, Bethesda is the publisher for Arcane Studios and they're who made Redfall. So I'm a little bit concerned as well. Baldur's Gate 3, likely the CRPG of the decade being released in months. Man, I really hope that I enjoy it. I loved Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And what very little I have seen on it when they first showed off gameplay of it long ago, it seemed like it was something right up my alley. It literally looked like D&D &D in a video game. Like, it was just true-to-form D&D in a video game. So, yeah, I'm hoping I enjoy it. plan on this one some rules uh call it's just a casual playthrough to catch up with the community while we wait for legend of zelda tears of the kingdom to release in a few days just a casual playthrough to hang out my dude Come on, man. I need this other guy to go away, but he won't. Ouch. Ouch. Ah, oh, come on, man. Buy a Nintendo just to play Zelda? I mean, pretty much. I have a Nintendo Switch that I got years ago specifically to play Breath of the Wild, and I'm glad that I did. I enjoyed the game. But I've played a few other things on the platform as well. You know, I've played things uh, here and there. It's actually uh, the, the platform I've played the most when it comes to Dead Cells. I really like Dead Cells, and there's just something about being able to play Dead Cells while laying in bed that really resonated with me. I love me some Dead Cells, man. 
So I did that with that. And I played a few other things as well, like Mario vs. Rabbids 2, for example. Played Mario Odyssey. Played a whole bunch of Mario Kart with Wife. So I've used it for, you know, more than just Legend of Zelda, but it is overall still my Legend of Zelda playing machine. Hey, thank you, Zubaru. Hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me. Best game of 2022 for you? Elden Ring. Triangle Strategy? I played Triangle Strategy on it as well. That was also a great game. Overall, though, I'll be honest with you, I think I'm done trying to make content around turn-based games. A lot of people just do not resonate with it, at least within our community. And as much as I would like to make content around some of them, I think it's just about one of those things, as much as I enjoy them, I just kind of keep those to myself now. I think that's the best way to go about it. What's up, Black Crystal? Good to have you here. Yeah, Cactuar, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's exactly the issue that I have with it, too. Oof, big miss. Where's Impalers on the map? I'll show you as soon as I can open up the map, Ken. Christ. Freaking imps, dude. Okay, here it is. It's right there. It's in the northeast of Weeping Peninsula. How many bosses have you defeated till now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Don't need to go that way. <laughs> yeah, the imps make you want to use the great shield every time. Yeah. What's this run? Just a casual playthrough of Elden Ring, hanging out, discussing stuff while we wait for Tears of the Kingdom to drop. Evan Ofsky, hello. Or is it? Ivano, Ivano Vesky, rather. Ivano Vesky. Sorry if I mispronounced it, dude. Tip at a boss count text on screen? No. I'm the type of guy that I just like to have the game itself. I don't want any other stuff on screen. I run my streams this way specifically. Because I don't like other stuff clouding it up. What's up, Mark? How you doing? Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the one with a shitload of imps, so wish me luck. No, that hurt a lot, dude. Oh, we're in good shape, though. We're actually in really good shape here. This is nice. Oh, 
Okay, GG. I was playing a warrior in any game I played. For the hell of it, I played a mage on last Elden Ring. Completely different experience and gameplay. Stats totally different. Not bad, just not for me. Oh, I understand, Ken. I actually default to magic in most games that I play. I didn't, or I, I'm sorry, I don't usually for uh, from software games like Souls Like, specifically because I do like the melee combat a lot more overall. That's why Catch Flame is one of my favorite spells, actually, because you can use it as a melee weapon, essentially, because of how close range it is, right? So that's why I like Catch Flame so much. But uh, overall, I usually actually default to magic myself. Why they call the cats watchdogs? Because watchdog is a term uh, that they are they are guarding something. They're like a security guard of something. And, and in this case, they're burial watchdogs. They're watching over the tomb. It doesn't mean they are actually a dog. They're just a watchdog. Taking the role of watching over something. Da, 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 da. And making my way through Foggate randomizer videos, primo content. Here's a $10 non-birthday present I missed out on 414. Oh, and wife is a hard on hard no on broccoli on pizza. You sold me on it though. Yo, Christopher. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching those videos, man. The Foggate randomizer playthrough was both exhilarating and frustrating. <laughs> it was a good time though overall. I liked it. It's a very cool mod. I'm glad that I played it. And thank you for watching it. Thank you for the generosity, man. Karian Slicer's into the chat. I mean, Karian Slicer is fun, too. I just like Catch Flame more. Broccoli on a white pizza? See, Mel gets it. Mel gets it. <laughs> you get it. Mel, have you ever had, uh, Nurchies? Oh! That's a lot of pain. Did I turn it to Knights? Is it actually Knights? Let me look. Oh, I can't. Is this thing going to spawn here? No? All right, let me go make it night really fast. Or, right, well, I guess I can go kill this guy so he's out of the way. Then we'll go make it night. You're worthy of a large community. You've refined, you've refined many variables that I pretend to be aware of to obtain success. You have what it takes, and you're very wise. I wish you fortune. You want a piece? That's very kind of you to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Damn. That's a big compliment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ever tried Nurchies? Oh, I love it so much. I actually missed the hell out of it. It's one of the few things about New York that I miss. Thank you, Wanna Peace. That makes me feel really good, dude. Thank you. Mostly pudgies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had a good amount of pudgies as well. Let's right, see if we can take this guy out real quick. I just punched him for one damage. Hell yeah. These are names of pizza places? Yeah. Yeah, those are names of pizza places in upstate New York. Hey! I hate that little, like side tackle they do so much oh 
Oh, oh, no, I'm alive somehow. What the heck? What the heck? Come here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Come here. I'm all out of juice, buddy. Fresh out of juice. So I have a pokey stick. I hate you. Come here. Craving pizza is so bad right now. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I've already done a flail playthrough porn. Yeah. I have indeed done that. You drive by flaming, true. All right, we got a flail. Sick. I actually use the Knight Rider's flail a lot in my playthrough as well. Fine, I'll go watch it then, fine. Oh yeah, dude, it's actually a really fun playthrough. I just, uh, I really, really wish that flails had more unique attacks to them. That's the only thing. Hey, Aaron, what's up? Good to see you here. Hello there. Get out of the way, man. Freaking bats kept eating my damage, dude. <laughs> it wouldn't get out of the damn way. Love the RARI 2 gameplay, bro. Watched it all in a night. More RARI in the future, please. I mean, I'm down for that, Josh. Yeah, I'm down for that, man. I love Resident Evil. I also have a Resident Evil 7 and an 8 playthrough on my channel as well. Uh, some older streams. And then I have uh, my recent RE4 playthrough as well. So there already is some out there for you if you haven't seen it yet. What's up, Ghost Recon? Just joined the stream. What's the build for this playthrough? Uh, just kind of a, a light faith playthrough. A bit of a faith playthrough, man. RE6 shouldn't exist. Agreed. Nor Raccoon City. I mean, shit, if you're asking me, 5 shouldn't exist either. What's going all right, Coogs? How are you, man? How the rest of Star Wars go? You know, uh, the, I think the last truly difficult time I had with the game was specifically fighting... Um, I mean, aside from Boat, of course. Was specifically... Uh, what's his face? Ravis. Man, just because the game was performing so poorly. It was really hard to actually like enjoy that fight. Name of our protagonist, not Rick.
But Hari Five had Chris punching a boulder. Exactly. Exactly why I don't, don't like it. Don't get me wrong. The uh, the premise of Resident Evil is already pretty damn unrealistic, but you take something like that to an extreme, and I just lose interest in that regard. I just, uh, I really mentally clock out fast. This spear's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. Oh, I missed. I'm running. Goodbye. Thanks, Ghost Recon. I appreciate it. Josh, going to start your RE8 gameplay tonight? Right on, Josh. That's sick, man. Here, have this letter. This. It's a faith build call. I sick you, but I There's a Kawe, sorry. If you her father... If you her father... If you her father... Yeah, it's just a faith build. Doesn't have anything super special going on. Just started as a prophet. I'll be building up faith and using some incantations alongside different weapons as I go through the game. This one isn't like a seri a very serious playthrough at all. It's more just kind of hanging out with the community and live streams while we wait for Legend of Zelda Breath or Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to release. Yo, Ghost Recon, thank you for the $10 super chat. It says thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me, watching my content. It means a lot, dude. It means a lot. Speaking of meaning a lot, guys, even if you don't like Redfall, I, I would really enjoy if you would check out my video that I released today after stream tonight. It would mean a lot. I'm looking for, uh, you know, just, just kind of... I'm trying to make content that supersedes the actual games that I play. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to entertain people in a way that they might not have known that they would enjoy. So it would mean a lot to me if you check out my video that I put out today on Redfall later on. Will Spear Type be your main melee for this run? No. It's just what I have right now. Thank you again, Ghost Recon. The video's so fun, I didn't even realize 40 minutes went, went by. That's a hell of a compliment right there. Thanks, dude. Use the Together Blade later on? Possibly. Though I have used that already. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to think of a weapon I've not used much before. I know I've not used a whole lot of the... Uh, what's the thrusting sword that has Scarlet Rod on it? I can never think of the name of it. Oh, Ant Spur Rapier. Yeah, I've barely used that weapon, so that might be a thing. Uh, trying to think of other stuff that I have not used, and not a whole lot's coming to mind right now. Um... Godskin Peeler I've not really used. That could be fun, too. Yeah, I've heard of the Convergence mod. I'm not playing it right now because I'm waiting for it to uh, fully release. Right now, it has like a, like, a, like a beta thing going on. I want to play the full version of it when, it when it's out. So I'm waiting for that. What about the Frost one? Oh, I've used the Frost Needle, the Frozen Needle. I actually used the Frozen Needle during one of my randomizer playthroughs. I used that alongside a... Uh, 
Hoslo whip to defeat Melania. And actually, this uh, this this uh, area right here, actually, yeah. Storm axe. I, I use those in my axe playthrough. First playthrough was with Godskin Peeler. Super cool. Nice. <laughs> Bubble build. Bubble build. Use the harp bow and sing as you slay like a bard. Godskin tune only, right? Not a great time to heal, huh? Oh, I rolled way too early. Hey, Hamza, how you doing? Convergence Alpha is out right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want the full version of it, not the Alpha. I'm going to wait till it's done. And even then, it just depends on whether games are out before I actually check it out, too. Bum, bum, bum. I can't believe that hit him. <laughs> oh, God. I, I knew what I was signing up for with that one. I hate this guy. Oh my god, dude. You're the worst. Have I tried Giza's wheel? I have. Deadland 2 was built broken. Just saying it sucks because I start, it started okay, but can't even explore the game without getting wrecked. Good vids. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't have that experience. I didn't, I... I mean, I enjoyed Dead Island too. I thought it was great. I, I didn't. I don't feel that way about it myself. Yeah, the, this uh, the misbegotten warrior with the long or the great swords are tough. Yeah. Hey, Zionist. I've never been good at fighting them though. This is nothing new. All men. Refill the old mana pool here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not even going to go back up there and talk to him. I'm not going to do uh, Hyena's quest. We need to go westbound. We have a whole bunch of stuff we need to grab on the remainder of this island. We have, first and foremost, three sacred tears as well as the lantern. What's up, Josh? How you doing, man? Use the Golden Order Greatsword? I've already used it in one of my playthroughs. I guess not a whole hell of a lot, but I did use it for a while. You guys want to hear something weird? I have Super Mario World Bowser's Castle music stuck in my head. And that's exactly how it goes. Just like that. That was random? Yeah, I have no idea why it's in my head right now. My brain does this. It'll just start playing random music. Why am I like this? All you had to do was say Bowser's Castle and stuck in my head too. <laughs> um, I'm glad that I can uh, not be alone in this. Told my partner, oh my God, I miss Josh so much. And here you are. What's up, Greg? How you doing, man? What's in your head? In your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Hey, 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 oh. Good tune, man. Good tune. I have Jukebox Brain 2. It's a curse. I know, just random songs play. And it's like, how the hell does this even... Like, stuff that you haven't heard in years will just pop up. And you somehow remember every aspect of it. <laughs> I watched the Mario movie? I've not now. I saw Evil Dead Rise, though. I kind of liked it. I, 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 Evil Dead is one of those few, like, horror-based film things that I actually do enjoy. They're, like, self-aware of, like, how cheesy they can be, you know? I've heard Mario's great, but I haven't seen it yet. Bum, 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 bum. Now I have zombies stuck in my head, man. Corn, you did this. You did this. Yo, Ghost Recon with the big $50 super chat. Big. Damn, man. Thank you. Here's the random songs in your head. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the big generosity. It's very kind, dude. Thank you, thank you. You guys know, I, I don't think I've ever actually gone up here and taken this thing out. It's like, I can't even remember what's up here. What is this thing? What are you? Oh, good. I can't even hit the damn thing. Divine fortification. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Oh, I lived, bitch. Let's go. That's why I don't get it. Divine Fortification is a spell I will never use. Thank you so much, Ghost Recon, for the huge generosity. Thank you so, so much, man. Are you fine? <laughs> You found Evil Dead too gruesome? I guess I'm just used to it. I don't know. I've never been affected by gore in that way. 
I think a lot of it just might be because of, uh, you know, my background in general. Like, I've, I've watched live births and stuff, so it's like, I don't know. I've never been queasy about that stuff. You know, I, I've seen all sorts of stuff, man. It just doesn't affect me. Gross. <laughs> Any tips on Butcher the Clown? That's where I got stuck. Try to take out his legs. That's generally the way when it comes to any butchers in the game. If you take out their legs, they have a harder time moving. And that's true for pretty much any zombie in the game. Sweep the leg, brother. Sweep the leg. Outside of that, parrying them is highly effective. If you parry them, it actually disables them for a moment. Buzz would get a nice, free, big hit. Who doesn't like attacking for free, right? Who doesn't like that? That's something we all can enjoy. Or, or hold on. That's something everyone can enjoy. Can anyone name that tune, by the way? Also, did you guys see that Sum 41 is disbanding? They put out a statement. What was it, just today or yesterday? Sum 41 is actually disbanding after their current tour and the next release of their album. Why now? Why not 20 years ago? <laughs> What's up, Matthew? How you doing? Uh, like 30, Dan? I was never big on some 41. I like a few of their songs, but I've never been like a hyper fan by any means. Try the Magma Worm Greatsword? Yes. Or the Great Horn? I've not really used the Great Horn. Maybe if I can get one, we'll go bubble mode. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What's up, Calred? How you doing? Going to sleep? Thomas, have a great night, man. Thanks for chilling today. What's up, Toast? How you doing? Yeah, no doubt, Matt. Yeah. One of those things like they, they stuck together for a very long time, you know? They stuck together for a very long time. So I guess it was just an inevitability at this point. They all stuck it out for a long time, despite everything that they've gone through, all the tours they've done, all the album releases. So, I mean, they made it, they made it very far together, you know? <laughs> Who do you voodoo? Oh, by Sam B. Where am I going? 
this way. What are you up to? Is this just a Josh run through with no goals per se? Or is there some mod? Nope, no mods, just a casual playthrough until Tears of the Kingdom comes out in a few days. We want bubbles? Maybe we'll do some bubbles, man. Yeah, Sam B was my first Dead Island character as well. Went around just punching everything with him. I'll try taking out his legs. I do enjoy the game. He keeps healing himself on corpses. I'll go watch your video. Yeah, so what you want to do is if he goes to heal on other corpses by eating them, you, you need to try to have a gun with you, Ghost Hunter's app, so that way you can uh, shoot shoot at him so that way it stops the heal he does heal very quickly so if he's running away just know that he's not running away for no reason he's going to try to heal if he runs off at that moment you pull out a weapon and as he's about to do it when he's standing still you shoot him and it'll stop the heal uh we need to go this way these days i'm more surprised when a group doesn't break up i mean you know you have to think like specifically some 41 has been at it for a very long time but yeah i mean bands break up all the time it's just the nature of it it can be a volatile scene a lot of people have creative differences and you know like there's a reason why when people say creative differences, it's not to be taken lightly. It's not like, oh, he wanted to make a song, you know, um, about how his love for his ex or something like that, whatever. And I didn't want to do that. It's more like two people in the band have a completely different style and they grow to realize that. And just what they do doesn't really mesh anymore. One or both will just kind of play to meet a middle ground and just like anyone else if you do something you don't enjoy after a while you just get really burnt out of it right the same can go for music even if you love playing music if you play a type of music that you don't like constantly it gets stale really quick Night lights, go! Nice. Like 30 Z89er. You could get bored creatively? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely you could. A good example of that, actually, I can resonate that with that one specifically. I got bored of playing nothing but multiplayer games on my live streams. After doing it for five and a half ish years i was just so burnt out of the idea of playing nothing but multiplayer games so i started playing a ton of single player games again it's not that i dislike multiplayer games in fact sometimes i still do play some it, it just became very tedious to do it every day right i need to level up my seal Nice eight ball. Welcome back. What's up, Akia? How you doing? Oh, you lived? That's illegal. Stop that. Stop it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I need to level up this seal. These things are not getting one shot anymore. That makes me sad. Hey, Edward, how you doing, man? You make Elden Ring look easy? Thanks, dude. I will say, though, like, what I'm doing so far in this playthrough is pretty basic. I do understand the ins and outs of, like, dodging and parrying a lot of enemies for sure. But something to consider is literally anyone can make a new character and start it start with Catch Flame. The damage that I'm doing with Catch Flame right now is completely achievable by anybody. 
So what I'm doing here is not uh, not out of the possibility for anyone, as long as you can just kind of get in and cast it and get out to not, you know, die. Doug theme song? God damn it. God damn it, dude. I haven't actually sung it in days. And now it's back. Aaron, why? Why you do this? thought about not with this flying shit just a thought oh i'm gonna die okay kamikaze go worth it worth it dude use your environment folks <laughs> <laughs> Big brain strats. Anyway, um, boss fight time. Why do you say that's illegal? Because I don't like what they're they're doing. It's against my moral code. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just something I started saying a while back. Have I used their weapon? Uh, no. I've just never cared to farm for it. Why do you got to do that to me, man? We burn them. We burn them. Indeed, it is, Matt. Yeah. True. Is there anything else that I want to do down here? I don't think so. I don't care to do that dungeon there. I don't care to do that one there. So I think, guys, I think we're good to go fight Margit. I used the anchor during my axe playthrough. It is considered an axe and it does pierce damage. What's the best boss design? Are we talking about, like, moveset design? Are we talking art design like how they look aesthetically are we talking environments around them are we talking like a totality of all factors because i'm going to be honest with you the above the for all the above my answer is malaketh <laughs> i love malaketh through and through for every single one of those answers so you know take that as you will am i a pro gamer it depends on your definition of pro but I will say I do game at a professional level. Professional can be defined as, or I think is defined as doing something for a living, doing something and having an income based around it. And I do do that. I do do that. What's up, Sakito? What's up, Echo Bravo? Can't wait for the Zelda series. You're gonna play. Are you going to midnight release or going digital? I'm going digital. Emboldened by, by the, the flame, flame of, ambition. of ambition. Thanks for stinking. I appreciate it, dude.
How dare you smack me? How dare? Too early. Ta -na, na, na, na. Well, well. Thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must be Ow. I love the way he puts that, like, nasty inflection on the word tarnished, like it's an insult, right? Tarnished. Ah, uh, rolled a little bit early there. Oh, he do be spinning, though. He do be spinning. Do we spin it again? That's what I wanted this whole time. What's up, Schmoof? What up, what up, hello? His name was King of Hard Boss? He can be. Hey, Darkest Knight, they give the two bones. He's talking mad spicy for someone in flaming range, right? Right? That's what I'm saying, man. I will burn this shit down. <laughs> Thank you, Tarkus, for the two. What's up, Cole? How's it going, man? Yeah, I love Margaret's voice, too. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. How many playthroughs you done now? Like 30. Bing, 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 bing. What's going on, Chris? How you doing? You're new for no matter how you. Is there a specific seal that amplifies fire damage? I know the Godskin one adds to Black Flame, but I don't know if it's fire as well. I never really thought about it. Surely there's one that amplifies just fire damage, right? What ending will I go for? No idea, man. No idea. You bastard. Ah, the giant's fire seal. Yes. Giant's fire seal. True. That one exists. If 
fire scorpion charm yeah that's not a that's not a seal that's a talisman seals are what allow you to ca cast spells yeah that's illegal see exactly exactly that's illegal man Uh, Ghost Recon, I'll be honest, man, I don't really do a whole lot of co-op. But if I am ever to do it again, it'll definitely be something I involve streaming on. Let's see if we can time this parry. Stop casting that spell, man. Oh, this guy. Oh, that has such reach. Yeah, uh, Morga is the full version of Margit Menacing Hammer. Uh, they're, they're, they're one and the same. It's just uh, as Margit, he's essentially going easy on you. Uh, he says here he sees that you're stronger than a lot of other Tarnished, and he wants to see how far you can go. And then it gets to a point where he just wants to put a flat stop to you. And that's when you fight him in uh, Lanedale. There we go. Got him again. That's what I was trying to do earlier, too. Just didn't really work out so well. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. Oh, now you're dodgy? Okay, brother. fighting game level juggling right there <laughs> i'll be doing an ac6 playthrough absolutely man i love armored core love 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 armored core have you played sekiro yes okay to stormvale we go hey folks if you haven't already left a like on the video make sure you do Helps me out in a big way. I appreciate it, folks. Who there? C come on. I... It's tightly go to the guards. You'll breach the... Well, but of course. The gates. Open the gates. Anyway, let's turn in his uh, his soul. Turn in his soul right here so I can buy myself a nice little uh, parrying buckler, thanks. That's what I needed in my life right there. doing armored core 6 live or as videos probably both i'm such a massive armored core fan that i'll likely do both i'll do a live playthrough of it and then i'll do videos on it otherwise Come on down, burb. Idiot. 
Yeah, I talk I talk shit to birds, okay? That's what I do with my with my life. You live that? Damn. You can parry that? Yes. Time to burn. Sorry, guys. I, uh, you know, I just have these really bad allergies. I keep sneezing everywhere. I'm sneezing all over the place. I'm so sorry. It's this dusty ass castle, man. I'm telling you. Hey, stop it. Martin, have a great night, man. I'll see you later. Someone had to do it, Scooter. Someone did. Kasim, have a good night, man. I'll see you later. Thanks for chilling today. Bajan Kai, have a good night as well. Good to have you here. I wonder. I wonder if any of these guys have simply thought about not stabbing me. You know? I wonder if any one of them had the original thought of not going stab mode. Hmm. Huh. We're going to do this guy dirty. Hold on. If I remember right, he doesn't fully walk out here, but I just need to kind of keep an eye on it. You know what I mean? There we are. Oh, God. He do be spinning. Hey, Tyler Hughes, they have the $10 super chat. Recently found your channel stuck on Elden Beast in my first playthrough, but you've been a huge help. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, man. Thank you for joining my channel here. Thank you for the generosity, man. Thank you very much. And yeah, actually, um, maybe you found my channel through it, but I actually have a video on my... Wait, did I do a Radagon and Elden Beast uh, video? I might not have, actually. I might have skipped that one. My general advice for Elden Beast, though, is always the same. Treat it like no other boss fight in the entire game. Treat it more like a bullet hell thing than an actual boss. You just need to run up, poke it a few times until it runs away, and then focus on dodging everything as you work your way towards it again. It can get really tedious, but overall, it's something that 
when you when you understand that it's just not your standard Elden Ring boss, it becomes a lot simpler. It's one of those bosses where you, you, you kind of, you want to do as much damage as possible when you're up close. And so it allows you to feel like it's okay to get greedy and just keep swinging away. But you just need to be more on the defensive side with it because it can surprise you with a lot of damage at random. And I think that's what catches a lot of people off with that fight. I missed the purry. The purry, dude. All right. We should probably kill these guys. Ow! Ah, uh, those crossbows. Brother. Ah, the old twofer, huh? The old twofer. I do love this game so much, but I don't like what it says when the advice for the final boss is not treated like any other of the 160 bosses. Let me offer you a, uh, a different take, though. Is it not a good idea to make the final boss stand out? Even if you don't agree with the mechanics of it and you feel like it's a standalone experience outside of the rest of the game, it's still the final boss and is still that standalone experience, right? I don't think it's a great boss by any means, but I will say that it is unique. It stands out and is something that a lot of people fear because of that. Oh, I'm so dead here. I missed. Oh, I lived. Big. But yeah, their overall goal was just, just to get the boss to stand out, to be unique in some way. And I got to say, they certainly succeeded with that. What the heck? Why did my character change targets? The Lone Misericord. Just feels like it threw out the vision for bosses out the window when it comes to Elven Beast, but like you say, maybe that was the goal. Yeah, I mean that that that's the goal of any any game that wants uh like the final boss like I'm sorry, let me rephrase this. It's the goal of the majority of games that are based around combat with bosses to make the final boss stand out in some way. Unfortunately, the reality is a lot of final bosses are extremely lackluster because of that. I mean for me, I think of all the final bosses in the, the Dark Souls trilogy. I don't like any of the final bosses of the main story in Dark Souls. Sure, they stand out. I remember them all very well. But were they good? No. No, they were not. And so I think that's just a very common thing. It's something like they try to achieve some type of unique quality to it, and they end up just floundering it. Have you done Demon Souls? Yeah.
<laughs> hey, yeah. Okay, from here, I want to try something. I want to see... Uh, where do we need to fall? No, I didn't want to go this way. Shoot. Okay, anyway. Generally speaking, we want to go right down there, right? So let me see if I can just survive this. <laughs> I can. Okay, sick. You don't even have to hit the crumbling piece of cliff there. You just, you can just drop all the way down. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Hello, sir. Would you like some fire? What's my favorite boss in any game? Uh, let me think for a moment. Let me think. Favorite boss in any game, or final boss specifically. Favorite final boss. No. Mission? God, no. Nothing about Sekiro is my favorite in anything. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like the game that much. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, guys. I have to pee, so I'm going to do that really fast. If you haven't already left a like on the video, make sure you do. It would mean a lot to me. I appreciate all of your love and support. And I'll be back in just a minute. In the meantime, enjoy my character's face. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. What's up, Monsoon? How you doing? All right, let me think. Uh, best final bosses. Uh, the only... I think the only from software... Oh, hold on, let me, let me say the only final boss in the Souls Likes that I enjoyed was... Uh, what's his name in Bloodborne? Uh, Garman. Garman and then Moon Presence. I do enjoy those. I would say that's probably the best representation of final boss stuff out of From Software. Um, you know, for, uh, Sephiroth, Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII, is a good one. I feel like it's a pretty cliche answer, but I feel like there's no, there's no real bad aspect about that fight. It's tough, but fair, which I enjoy. Just trying to think of some other final bosses that left an impact on me in some way. Aside unskippable cutscenes, of course, yes. Orphan of Koss and Bloodborne. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun fight. Not not the final boss of the game, though. Or at least the main game, anyway. Did it hurt for Sephiroth when he fell from heaven? Great question. Mother Brain in Metroid was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. What's different about this gameplay? I mean, this run, it's just a casual playthrough until we have uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Or, I'm sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. I keep calling it Breath of the Wild 2, but until Tears of the Kingdom comes out, this isn't meant to be some, like, unique playthrough or anything like that. I'm just playing casually. If there was something special about it, then I would have already put it in the title or description, you know, as I usually do. Yeah, I'll be streaming Zelda. Yep. How is that not a backstab? I am confused. Gwyn was good in Dark Souls. Uh, I know a lot of people liked it, but I just didn't. Well, tarnished I, I am the fan here by decree. How Otis Graft is tainted. Them. What's up, still vibing? How you doing? I ask you, the winds run. I'm certain far. I pass fellow town down whatever. I pass fellow town down whatever road. Death to all burbs run. Never remember what this item is in this small alley, so I always go and grab it. No, smithing stone too. That's good. We take it. Gwyn gets parried easily. Yeah. Yep. One of the most readable parries in the entirety of Dark Souls. Of course you didn't you probably parried him perfectly the first time you ever fought him i did <laughs> i wasn't even good at parrying then but i still did i'm gonna go in dark souls 3 doesn't get parried i didn't really like gwyn in dark souls 3 either it just doesn't re like i just don't feel like it's a very I, I feel like it doesn't really bring things to a good climax and end not saying that i don't enjoy the game because i love the game I don't need anything back there. Just a normal playthrough, chilling. Yeah, we're chilling for a few days until uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and then we're gonna stream that. 
But again, I'm not knocking anyone that does enjoy the fight. If you enjoy it, that's totally cool. I'm glad you do. You know me. I don't take things away from others. If you if you want if you enjoy that, then that's awesome. I'm glad that you uh you know you enjoy your experience. Because that's what gaming is all about. And I love that. I played Red Dead 2. Only the first few chapters. Not really a fan of it. It was like slogging 200 miles with a huge backpack. Then you fight Gwyn and it was a rush over. Yeah, it's a pushover rather. Yeah. Which again, like... There's plenty of people that enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of people that have it in their, like, top boss stuff, but I just didn't, I just don't feel the same way. I enjoyed uh, the fight with Balder in God of War 2018 as the final boss fight. I did like that. The final fight with Odin was pretty fun in Ragnarok. I wouldn't say they were my favorites, but I did enjoy them. I thought they were good experiences. Elden Ring mods are becoming like Skyrim mods. Total game change. Yep. Yep, yep. And that's why studios should allow modding for their games because it brings a lot of life to them. It keeps people playing their games. Not to mention gives them free ideas for their uh, potentially uh, future DLCs and other IPs. Not sure why I went to that one. I could have gone to this one back here. I don't know why I did that. You didn't like Odin? I enjoyed it. Again, not my, I wouldn't say my favorite, but I did like it overall. Only thing after playing Elden Ring, and I'm having a hard time finding enjoyment in any of the new action-based RPGs. Just too much hand-holding. Yeah, I mean, JD, that, that, that's, that's a... Oh my god, words. That's kind of what happens when you play From Software stuff. That's just kind of what happens. You're not alone in that. That's a very common feeling for a lot of people when they play these games. Come on, man, do something here. All right, all out of the juice, man. All out of the juice.
Oh, I fell short. Oh no, not this one. That attack's the worst, dude. And I missed again. Lovely. Oh. I finally took a hit, guys. I almost got eaten by a dragon. A dragon hand at that. We'll return together, bathed in rays of gold. <laughs> How you doing, McKay? That's the wrong way. He's like the Mad King. I can hear him say, burn them all. True. How many hours do I have in Elden Ring? I have no idea, man. A lot. I don't sit here and count it. I don't know. I do not know. Marget is harder than Godric, and that is sad. Really disappointed me my first playthrough. You have to think about it like this, Jojo. Marget is Morgoth. That's very intentional. Morgoth repelled a red main invasion almost single-handedly. Morgoth is an extreme badass. Margit is just a lightened version of Morgoth, sure. But overall, he's just a more powerful being than Godric is. Lore-wise, it makes total sense. I want a Josh mod where you voice all bosses like that. <laughs> Killed more got far easier than Margaret. That might have just been an experience as you learned the game thing. Hello, my name is if I might be would you do me my eyesight but when I eat it will lead me. Now have a grape, you dude. Almost call me the blessing. You are have the a grape. What's your, what's your favorite class to use? Prophet. I think Prophet has the strongest single start in the game because you get Catch Flame. Catch Flame is OP. Yeah, the view. I remember the first time I defeated Godric and walked out the back of the castle and I went to this exact spot. This exact spot right here. Nothing like it, man. You know what the best part about this is? Is literally everywhere you see... Except for that, I mean, I mean you, can, you can actually get over there too, but everywhere you see, you can actually get to. I think that's my favorite thing about this game. The mass exploration that you are capable of doing. My first playthrough of this game was just absolutely wonderful because literally everything you see here, you can access. Everything across the board. It's just nuts. There's just something about seeing a sprawling world like this and just knowing that you're going to be able to get there at some point. Then you jumped off. Yeah, gravity beats me up pretty often. You can believe it or for a... Well, you're a true... My name presumed only... I'm afraid. All oh, right. I can tell you. You've seen that. That's the only it's doing. After they declare the academy, as you might have making entry, to, and so on. When they come, ba ba ba. And if you want, you would you. One of my favorite features of games where you see you traverses. <laughs> yeah, where you seizes is where you traverses is. Like Breath of the Wild, but instead of just viewing it, you jump off and fly away. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom because it's gonna be it's gonna have a lot of that feel as well. Or like you see something, you know you're gonna be able to get to it. 
pretty good, man. I like that. What boss has the best background? Are we talking lore? Again, I, I think I'm too much of a Malaketh fanboy. Malaketh was serving Marika to the best of his ability. He got ambushed, and he punished himself extremely for it. He's just very loyal to his cause. He's a very good boy. the challenge run no it's a casual playthrough of elden ring we're just waiting for tears of the kingdom to release i didn't want to not stream <laughs> i know people keep coming in and ask expecting like some type of special caveat to the gameplay but i would rather stream than not stream but i don't really think there's much i can do as far as like weapon classes and stuff that i mean i've, I've pretty much beat the game with every weapon class that exists i think the only one that exists that i haven't done that with is thrusting swords and like Let's be honest, who cares about that? There's a couple good thrusting swords, a couple. But why bother beating the game with them? Hey, Nick, how you doing, man? Beat the game with bare hands? No. Unfortunately, you only do like two to eight damage per hit, and that would take weeks weeks and weeks and weeks of doing and that is far too tedious I would rather bash my head against a wall what's up Celestel how you doing Dun, dun, dun. I'm still trying to think about my favorite boss fight of all time, man. I'm really struggling with that question. I don't really know. Hello. 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 Please. Hello. It's rather my Hello. Any build ideas for this one? Just kind of building faith. Just kind of building faith. You're saying it's possible? I mean, I could beat the game with thrusting swords. But will I? Probably not. Bum, 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 bum. Am I going the right way? I guess I'll never know because I don't have the map for the western side. Ah, here it is. I know this clearing. Pure faith? I mean, I've got some strength and dexterity so I can wield weaponry as well. I have done a pure faith build, though. I have an incantations-only playthrough on my channel. I use nothing to damage any boss except incantations whatsoever, including Rikard. Is my final math today? Dude, that's great. That's great, Celestel. I'm happy for you. Congrats. Feels good to just kind of get through it and being confident about the results, right? Good stuff. I'm proud of you. Best boss all time in any game is Rick. True. I loved the uh, door technician Rick in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. <laughs> He runs at you and he's like, I'm vying for a promotion. <laughs> Doesn't everyone technically beat this game with their bare hands? I don't wear gloves when I play Elden Ring. Fair point. Oh, hey, what are you doing here?
Be gone, foul demon. Your first time fighting Melania, how much did you struggle? It took me 14 hours to defeat her. Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf, Ganon, boss fight is masterclass. That is a good one, Jojo. Yeah, that is really good. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great one. I really hope the final boss for Tears of the Kingdom is good. I didn't really like the final boss fight in Breath of the Wild either. Definitely felt lackluster. Antspur Rapier trivializes a lot of the game. Yeah. The fact that it does Scarlet Rot damage is the big thing, but the fact that you can put another element on there is also big. One of the best things you can do is scale up Arcane, throw poison on that bad boy, and then just watch the double infection wear everything down. Very strong. Hey, what's up, Rodalee? How you doing? Yes, folks, thank you for leaving a like on the video. I really appreciate your support on my channel. Thank you so much. Also, after stream tonight, I'm going to give you guys all a link to a video that I just released on my channel today. It is a video that talks about uh, Redfall. And I know not a lot of people like Redfall. A lot of people didn't like the game. I didn't really like it either, but I still did a full playthrough of it, and I condensed the entire 20-hour story into about 40 minutes of a video. And it was actually a really fun video to make. I think um, it's hard to explain, but basically I edited it. I, you know, I did everything myself. I did all the edits, all the gameplay, uh, everything across the board was all me. The script for it, for the narration, everything. It would mean a lot to have your support and check it out. You definitely give it a go. I think it's uh, the best way to explain it is it's less about the game and more about the experience of the video. Do you like Moog's design? Yes. Phase 2 Moog, when you're fighting him at his Blood Palace, is one of the most badass bosses in the game. The way he grows those black wings after he does the Nihil curse on you is incredibly cool. Basically, uh, the best way, okay, another way to describe my video that I put out today is I'm telling a story about my experience with the game and sharing it with others. It's kind of like turning a, a video game into a, a book, an interactive book of sorts. Yeah, if that makes sense. Do you like Gideon? The all spamming? Terrible. Terrible. Insta stun. Hey, stop it. Oh god. Oh god. We get one PvP build before DLC. <laughs> ah, homie, I'm really not into it. I really do not like PvP. I enjoy PvPing in other games. I just don't like how it's how it works in this specifically. It just doesn't really vibe well with me. think they'll release DLC with Armored Core 6 coming out this summer I have to imagine late fall early winter translation he's weak yeah that's definitely the translation there <laughs> that's always it you're not allowed to just not enjoy something if you don't enjoy something it's automatically because you're bad at it yeah 
very good line of thought. <laughs> Gideon zero health, a thousand damage. True. True. You play Elden Ring so much, just don't PvP. Seems weird. And majority of people, three quarters of people that play Elden Ring, don't PvP. That's very normal. beat Millennium my first try all I had to do was summon two people and run like hell it was easy <laughs> I love your style Andrew I love your style love your streams man been watching for a while and I don't even play the games you do nice Robin I'm glad you enjoy what I do man it's nice thanks for hanging out I feel like I should go... Yeah, I intended to go south first. Let's go get the first part of the Hay Lake Tree Medallion here. I too do not enjoy PvP, but I have the best time doing co-op. Do you ever do that? I did a full playthrough where I did co-op with our community. It's not something that I've done in a long time and don't have any current plans on doing it now. But it might be something I do with other, you know, future games and stuff. It just depends on what goes on. Catch Flame is slept on? Yeah, Catch Flame is nuts, dude. I think Profit it has the strongest overall start of the game because of Catch Flame. And the fact that you start off with enough faith to make it so it starts doing some pretty good damage right away. There should be a Catch Black Flame, Josh. What do you think? I feel like if they were to do that, it would just be so weak that it wouldn't be worth using. Because if you make it so it would be something comparable to a regular catch flame, it would it, you have to keep in mind that it's also spammable, right? And because of that idea, you start adding uh, a lot of fire damage really quickly with that also that built up natural stagger or that poise breaking plus the physical damage over time application. So if they were to do something like that, it would just be, it, they would nerf it into the dirt and it would become useless. As fun as it would be, it would just be nerfed really hard, very fast. It's one of those things where they would design the spell, put it in the game, and then make it useless right away. Was the game plan this playthrough? Just a casual playthrough, talking with everyone in the community while we wait for Tears of the Kingdom to come out. What's up, Preston? Had a bad day? Your streams help? I'm sorry you had a bad day, dude. I'm sorry about that. Hope it improves for you. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Favorite armor set? Mine is Briar. I like the Banished Knight set the most. But a close second is the Nomadic Merchant set. Do, do, do.
Oh, I'm all out of juice, guys. Didn't realize I was out of juice. Yo, KK Yakitimi. Thanks for joining us from Germany. Hello. Hope you're doing great today. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Screamer? Thank you for 19 months of membership, dude. Am I fashionably late or not? Just late. Definitely just late. Yeah, nothing about you is fashionable, man. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, man. It's good to see you. Thank you for 19 months of membership. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, we got what we came for here. Let's head back down this way. We have some official business to take care of down here, too. I should level up. I want to put more points in faith. We have 30 faith already. Jesus. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Let me reallocate some of these flasks. I think three healing is good for this area. Where I just feel like they're very different. Things are very different between our characters. Like you make multiple on journey one where I have one character at max level and collected everything. So I don't know. I mean, I have characters where I collected everything as well. I just don't really enjoy going through the process of, like, maxing out a character. I just don't see the point in that. Yeah, I mean, I've got several characters with every item in the game. Or at the very least, I have even more characters with access to any item that I want at any time. All I have to do is just go to a chest and open it up and grab it. For example, like the tree spear or, the, you know, if I have a specific boss weapon I, I want to make, then I have the remembrances to do so. Stuff like that. You know, I'm looking for this damn uh, dungeon here and I just kind of am not paying attention. Did I already pass it? I don't think so. No, we good. Am I freestyling this build? Yes, Nova. Yes. What's up, Sneakerson? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. What do you think game of the year will be so far? I gotta be honest with you, man. I, um... I don't really know. I feel like the conversation around a potential game of the year is way too early right now. For two reasons. The first one being... The cutoff is what? Like, end of November-ish? for potential game of the year or at least you know through the game awards but uh the next thing is it uh it really really boils down to right now there like this year so far there has been a few good games that i have enjoyed uh to list them off really quickly dead space remake hogwarts legacy atomic hearts uh, resident evil 4 remake um what else has come out this year that I've enjoyed, like, new game-wise? But I gotta be honest with you, when it comes to Game of the Year, I feel like there's gonna be some major biases towards two different games, as long as they have even a semblance of quality. And that would be Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Starfield. 
I don't really think anything else is going to compare, even if they're incredibly good. Because of the nature of those games, the popularity in those communities that back these studios, you know, games like Legend of Zelda and Starfield from Nintendo and Bethesda are really forces to be reckoned with. And even if people overall will down on them, I still feel like the bias is going to be so heavy that one of those games is still going to get Game of the Year. Is there a game that comes out this year that wasn't a mess at launch? Yeah. Dead Space, Resident Evil, Dead Island 2. All three of those games ran really well. At least for me, anyway. I guess I don't really know other people's experiences. Uh, Sneakerson, I don't say exactly where for the sake of, you know, safety. My Armored Core 6. Don't get me wrong. I love Armored Core 6. And that's something that I'm going to have a heavy bias towards myself. But let's be honest. Armored Core 6, I heavily doubt, is going to be something that is going to be interesting to a lot of people that enjoy other from software stuff don't get me wrong there's going to be more eyes and hands on armored core than ever before because of the popularity around from software now due to elden ring but i still think because it's going to be so different a lot of people are not going to receive it very well and that's why i i i, I, I try to explain people ahead of time that it's not a souls like game nothing about armored core is souls like but a lot of people are still expecting it to be that way. And so while I'll have a heavy bias toward it myself, I think it's going to be viewed negatively by a good portion of people because it's not that way. Ouch. Yeah. This guy, huh? Oh, he bamboozled me there. Zorlak, I'm aware that uh, they were popular before Elden Ring, but even then, Elden Ring is what put them on the map for the majority of people that play from software games now. Absolutely. I mean, that's something that came straight from From Software themselves. They've never been more popular than they are right now because of Elden Ring. There's always been like a cult following around the, their Souls-like games, as well as their Armored Core games. But they are more popular, more now than ever, because of Elden Ring. It bridged that gap between appeal and exploration and uh, high-quality gameplay to the difficult side of things. So, then I've no... Let's try my apology. I presume... I hope that... Hmm. Would you can... I'm here for that, Anne Rose. If you accept of the whereabouts... They've had several Game of the Year hits for sure. So they're no small studio. They're certainly not some indie studio that has never been heard of or anything like that. They have many Game of the Year hits. And so I'm not saying they were never popular or something like that. I mean, I I enjoyed From Software since even before they started making Souls like as a longtime Armored Core fan. But there's no denying that they're more popular now more than ever because of Elden Ring.
Alright, I need to go north and grab the map. Let's do that. A lot of people initially quit because they sucked at building vitality and kept getting one shot. Yeah. A pretty common thing. Pretty common thing. That's just like the standard thing for, for any of their games. Wait, this guy's actually here? I never spoke with him after I killed the guy. Weird. Oh, it's like that, huh? What's up, Connor? How you doing, man? It's pretty common for HP to grow naturally with levels, so people weren't expecting to have points put into it. For sure. But even then, people that do see the option are aware of that. They're like, oh, I'd rather do more damage than have more health. Like, it's a very common thought with many RPG build ideas. Three, four stomps? Relax, brother. Jesus. He was pissed, he was. Ah, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Okay. What's up, O-Rex? Yeah, Fire Scorpion Charm is all the way up in Mount Galmir. Was the best spell for Fire Giants? Whatever spell you can cast with enough time to not get hit by any of his bullshit. <laughs> I, I know that might sound weird, but yeah. If you want to maximize your damage, if you're trying to cast spells and you want to do as much damage as possible, try using things like if you're using incantations, then pest threads is pretty good. As well as uh, shard spiral on the sorcery side of things. If you aim Shard Spiral and Pestorettes right, if you do it properly, then you can do thousands and thousands of damage every single cast.
Wonder what Excel numbers are for what's a better talisman at what faith levels? The one that increases faith or the one that increases potency of faith spells? I'm, I have to believe that there's someone that's worked out the math. I have no doubt in my mind that someone's done that already. <laughs> What's up, Rodrigo? How you doing? I'm going through some things right now, and I have needed someone to talk to. I feel like my hope is lost. Uh, Black Templar, I, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to hang out here and just kind of try to, you know, distract yourself from whatever's woeing you. But I will say that uh, I am not a therapist in any regard. You know what I mean? I would say if you if you are in need of that type of help, then I would say seek out a professional in that regard. They're there for a reason. You know what I mean? There's even there's even therapists that take on consultations for free. So I would say try to seek something like that out if you're truly in need of someone to talk to. People use Hoslow armor with bleed bills. Does that do anything to bleed? Not that I know of. Not to my memory. I think a lot of people just like the aesthetic of it because it kind of matches the idea of bleed. Well, I presume. Oh, I am an old soul here. I'm also a firm believer, and again, I'm not a therapist, but I am a firm believer that as much as you may feel like you're at rock bottom, there's always some way, somehow, you're capable of kind of getting yourself back up. I know that just sounds like pure mis misguided and pure misguided optimism. But I've had moments in my life where I've been at rock bottom too, man. Like I've I've been nearly homeless. I've been in a situation where I've had to sell all of my belongings to make sure I can just get by. I'm not saying I've had it worse than anyone else, but I will say that you can't have good days without bad days. And at the end of the day, as long as you keep moving towards those good days, eventually something something is gonna something's gonna something good will come your way. You just gotta keep it, you know, keep on keeping on in that regard. Hey Persephone, great to see you. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I went right by the map, didn't I? Thank you so much, per, per, uh, Persephone. Stutter. Thank you, Persephone. I really appreciate it. No, you're fine, Black Templar. We're just having a good time. What's up, John Q? How you doing? I went right by the damn map. You're back. Good to have you back, Persephone. Hope you've been great. Alexandru, hello. Hello, hello. All right, we got that. Uh, let me go take care of dragon business real quick. While we're in the vicinity. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for nine months of membership. Says thanks. No, thank you, enjoy. Enjoy squared. Double enjoy. Thank you. I really appreciate the continued membership here. Thank you a lot. Welcome back. Not every day is going to be sunny, but some days you are the pigeon and other days you are the statue. Truth. Truth. There's uh there's two sayings that I can't remember where I even heard them. So I cannot source where I heard these, but these two these two sayings have helped me out more so than anything else has in my life, period. The first one being no one can pick you up better than yourself. 
sometimes it takes a little bit of assistance to pick yourself up but once you get there you're the one that's going to drive your ultimate success no one's going to hand things to you on a platter some people are just kind enough to get you on your way and the other one being you can't have good days without bad days you have a good day has no meaning unless a bad day happens those two ideas help me more than anything else in life New Zelda on Friday, that means, uh, I guess that means a new horizon on Thursday. <laughs> True, Screamer. True. They often do have the worst release windows between them and Titanfall. Like, it's crazy because they're good games, but they just don't get the, uh, the attention they deserve because the release windows for them are always bad. Favorite ending? Um, what's it called? Burning it all down? can't remember the name of it just now frenzy flame flame of the frenzy Guess we're just gonna poke toes with the stick because the fire's just not hitting. The hitbox is awkward. so much that attack sucks so much man hey samuel samuel samurai thank you for seven months man yo my man josh how's life going it's going okay for me man it's going all right sorry for being so late to the stream what build are you going for we're doing a bit of a faith build just casually playing through the game until tears of the kingdom drops in a few days thank you for the continued membership man I appreciate it. That's a good one, Monsoon.
Any idea how you're going to build this tune? Uh, right now, my only thought is just lots of faith. Please don't kill me. Thank you. I'm so tired of that attack. Right now, my only thought is just build lots of faith and uh, go from there. Take it easy, uh, Black. Take it easy. That was pretty bad positioning there, but we fixed it. Give me my runes back. All right, we got that taken care of. Very nice. Very nice. Soul series makes it hard to hard for me to enjoy other games. Just nothing compares to Souls Combat. Jedi Survivor was great though. I enjoyed my time with Jedi Survivor. I wish the performance was better, but overall, it was a solid game. I'm ready for Lies of P. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but I just, I, I just want to be uh, wowed by it. But every other Souls like that's ever come out has always been rather lackluster. For example, uh, what was the one that was like the Clockpunk Souls like? I can't remember the name of it just now. The trailers for the game looked awesome. It looked like a really exciting Souls-like experience, but the actual execution of the game just was just kind of meh. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't like amazing either. So I'm just kind of keeping my uh, expectations tempered for that one, because while while it looks awesome from the outside looking in. Bloodborne? No, I'm not talking about Bloodborne. Bloodborne is amazing. There's also uh, Thymesia. Thymesia as well, where the trailers looked like it was going to be really great, but then it was just kind of lackluster. <laughs> no, that's a Monster Hunter game, Screamer, not that one. Generic title, The Game. Amesia is one of them that I'm thinking of, but there's another one as well. Uh, I just can't think of the, the name of the game. Planning on playing older Dark Souls games, maybe? I have no plans on that, man. <laughs> Dolmen? Screw that game. Steel Rising, Mustafa. Yes, yeah, Steel Rising. Take it easy, D89er. What the? guy oh you're right there oh shit <laughs> i'm out of juice 
I'm out of the juice, man. But a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? Never played it. Never played it. That doesn't even ring a bell when I watched. I know, that's, that's how forgettable it was. That's how forgettable it was, man. Nuts. That's crazy. But if you actually go back and watch the, the, the gameplay trailers for it, it looked really good. And that's my concern with Lies of P as well. I'm not saying it's going to be that way. It's just a concern I have. I hope that I'm, I, uh, you know, I, I hope it's better than my thoughts are telling me it's going to be. I do. I really, really do. I want it to be good. You ever played Metal Gear Solid 5? Nah, I'm not really into the Metal Gear stuff. Parrying is a very useful tool, Mezic. Or Fezic, sorry. I just combined uh, Morex and Fezic. Was your bread and butter build in Souls games? Critical builds. Parrying with daggers. Doing large amounts of spike damage in a short amount of time. Water Cave. I've played any Super Giant games, Bastion, Transistor, Hades. I played the first two. I have Hades, but I've not played it yet. But Bastion and Transistor, I enjoyed both of those a lot. Specifically, uh, the way they're narrated is so good. I just absolutely adore what they how you know how they how they make that happen. It's actually kind of uh, an influence as to how I made the video that I put out today, actually. I was thinking about something like something like Bastion and Transistor and how I would love to make my videos have that kind of feel to it. And that's why I want so many people to actually go and watch my video that I put out today. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy it based on that idea alone. You just told me on the Redfall video? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, a lot of people would enjoy it if they just watched it. Especially knowing that I'm only going to make more videos like that with other games in the future, too, that I know people will enjoy. As far as, like, you know, uh, higher quality games than Redfall. What's up, Alan? What's up, The End? You ever try the Bolt of Grand Sacks? Yeah, that weapon's awesome. game has given you the biggest letdown that you can remember? Uh... I'll say Fallout 76 is pretty high up there for me. That was quite the experience. Right on the end. Right on. There's lots of grinding in Warframe when I played it. Did they change things around? No, it's definitely going to be more of the same. Warframe is a is an MMO, especially if you don't invest any money into it. It's just meant to be more on the grindy side. 
Am I going to stream Diablo 4? I'm not going to say yes, but I'm also not going to say no. It just depends on how I'm feeling and what else is going on at the time when I do play it. Or when it does release, rather. None as of yet, the end. You know what I really want, guys? I really want Stalker, too. That's what I want. I love Stalker. Stalker was such a good game and offered so much, uh, <laughs> so much exploration and just hard, like, difficult gunfights and everything, man. Really enjoyable. I really hope, Star uh, I really hope Stalker 2 is something that we can see in the near future. You've played Bioshock? Yes. Love me some Bioshock, specifically the first game. Love Bioshock 1 the most in that franchise. Warframe thinks it's Elden Ring now. They added horseback riding in that game. The way you summon it is the same. I think that's a good thing, though. I feel like... I feel like uh, developers watching what other developers do that are perceived as the right way to do things is only going to adv uh, advance the the bar further for us. I've always said this since day one. The way you summon your, your steed in this game, where you call it and then you're instantly just riding it, is the way to go about it. The fact that so many developers have made it so you have to call them out go to the mount and then mount it manually is so tedious if i'm calling the mount it's for a reason just put me on it right away ow what's up rbm how you doing man yeah would you kindly yeah would you kindly am i gonna stream system shock remake i've not seen anything on that is that supposed to be out at the end of the month still Adding horses in Warframe is worthless. You have a jetpack airplane to traverse, and it was nearly since release. You got to think about it like this, Monsoon. It may be worthless to you, but there's a lot of people that are really into grinding out and then using different types of traveling mounts. I mean, look at World of Warcraft, for example. A lot of the mounts do generally the same thing, and yet people still grind for the ones that are a lot more on the rare side. There's really no functional usability to it compared to any basic amounts, right? But people still go crazy for it. Never underestimate the power of cosmetic capability in a video game. I'm not someone that goes crazy over cosmetic stuff myself. I mean, I barely ever change my armor in Elden Ring, for example. I just don't care. But a lot of people, they go crazy for the cosmetics, man. I don't even know why I'm going up here. Why am I doing this? The tree spear still bugged? Um... I don't recall the tree spear being bugged. Suicide Squad looked on track for release this year too. Yeah, they delayed it until beginning of next year. It actually got like a what? A good like eight, eight or ten month delay? Some shit like that? That that's a pretty hefty one. your favorite Assassin's Creed if you have one? Two. 
I love the first one too, don't get me wrong, but. Two was a pretty big step up gameplay wise. You can buff other weapons with it. Oh. I have no idea then. A lot of people say Black Flag, yeah. That's uh, that's one that I've never played. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll actually sit and play Black Flag. Maybe one day. I just did a full playthrough of it on my streams at the end. Punch. Punch. I agree to a certain extent, Nicholas. I do feel that largely Assassin's Creed is pretty mediocre these days. However, when they first came out, they were very unique and they stood out in a way that a lot of other games couldn't compare with at the time when they were when they were first released when they first came out that's not something you can say a whole lot about them now as that formula has been done over and over again many times but i think a lot of people feel that it's a mediocre franchise these days because they oversaturated the hell out of that idea if assassin's creed had somehow made themselves more unique then, uh, you know, a lot of people would say otherwise. But unfortunately, it's not that way. Ow. What's up, Tube? How you doing? Brotherhood has slept on? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Brotherhood. Hello, sir. Out of the blue juice, man. I'm out of my blue juice. <laughs> Faps menacingly. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, New Vegas is Obsidian. Yep. 
Why is Elden Ring back in rotation amongst streamers? It's never left rotation, Grey Matters. It's one of those games that is just had it offers such high replayability and then there's also all the mods that you can add to it the randomizers the fog gate randomizers convergence mod all that stuff all right let me see let's go up here and do this thing You ever do all the painting parts of Elden Ring? On one of my playthroughs, I went through and did all of them, yeah. I just followed a guide. I didn't do that shit myself. Nicholas! Becoming a member of the channel. Big! Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very kind. Worth it? Uh, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some cool stuff involved, but I don't think there's going to be anything that's going to be, like, game-changing in them. Thank you very much, Nicholas. They become a member and all that. What are the perks of memberships and then uh, how do you do it? Uh, you can type exclamation mark join. I think you'll get a link directly to it. Uh, but essentially what you do um, when you become a member, it supports what I do monetarily so I can continue to do everything that I do full time. So that way I can stream and make more videos as well as you get a green, you know, you get the turtle next to your name. Your name becomes green and you get access to all the emotes. Lord Radigan came to soon, however, Radigan left. Hey, Ruth, hope you're doing well. And moreover, you know, a faint when he glimmed and as such. You know, a faint when he glimmed and as such. You wish she is the great, sadly, and then in the now she the grim, you would do severing of. You know, a faint when he glimmed and as such. You know, a faint when. Okay, so I ran all the dialogue options. I shows all of the different shopping parts but i'm still gonna have to probably have to do some of that again exclamation mark in front of joint sneakerson or you can click the little dollar sign below the chat box if you see it there but again all that stuff is completely optional it's not mandatory to be a part of our community it's just something that is something there that if you want to support what i do a little further let me try this again hold on Wait, put the exclamation mark in front of the word join. And it should give you a link. Or again, the dollar sign icon below the chat box is a choice too. Now right, let's see if we can do this. I actually really hate the how the fire has a weird effect on him there. Ah, oh, and then sometimes like after a stagger it doesn't do it.
Oh, I got greedy. What is that weapon? It's uh, the spear that you get from patches when you kill him. Yeah, I gotta not use catch flame on this guy. It just makes him react in such a strange way. Sometimes he'll like catch catch on fire and then like stutter for a moment. And then other times he doesn't react to it at all. It's so inconsistent. I have a two hour fight and you cheese him like that. It's not cheese. Cheesing would be like firing arrows through a small hole in the wall that he can't get through or standing up high on a balcony and throwing down fire bombs, stuff like that. When I get him to uh, repeat the same move over and over, that's called AI manipulation. He reacts a certain way when you stand in a certain position behind him and keep slamming his shield because it's the fastest way for his AI to turn around. AI manipulation is not e equivalent to cheesing. It's understanding the game. In a sense, both techniques described are cheese, but yes, no, this is not cheese. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I have a pretty strict idea of not cheesing things specifically. Manipulating AI is not cheesy. I'm sorry. I completely disagree. If you find it cheesy, that's on you, but it's not standard cheese in a game like this. Having a solid understanding of a move set of a certain enemy is not cheesy. I'm sorry. It just means that I learned how to fight against it in an effective manner. All right, let's see. Let's see. I should probably do that dungeon there. Let's go do that. Doing okay, Hamadi. How are you? It's not how the devs meant for it to be done. You're fighting at close combat. Exactly. You're in the danger zone. Uh, think of cheese as doing something that escapes the idea of di directly fighting an enemy. You're using some type of barrier or distance or some some mechanic that makes so you don't have to directly fight what you're what you're trying to get rid of. That's cheese. You're doing something not intended. I am directly fighting the guy in melee combat. That's not cheese. And I can't believe that I have to explain that. I'm fighting him in combat. I still put my character at risk of dying. Cheese is something that allows you to escape the risk of dying. Cheese is not directly fighting it at all. That's the difference. Yeah, luring something to fall off a cliff is cheese. If I have to explain that to you, then you don't really know what cheesing is. 
Just because it's something that makes the fight easier doesn't mean it's cheesy. It doesn't define it as cheese. It's still direct combat with the enemy. <laughs> I can't believe I have to actually explain that. <laughs> Talking about cheese, now I want nachos. I haven't had nachos in a damn long time. Kind of sounds nice. You guys know how I knocked the Draconic Tree Sentinel off the cliff? That's cheese. When people would lure the, um, the gargoyles to jump off the cliff, that's cheese. Sorry, I make you feel bad. I know it's not cheese, but when I see how you fight him, I felt how much I'm noob. I just have a lot of experience fighting them, and so I know how to best go about it for how I, uh, you know, how, how to get rid of them in an effective manner. Just because someone has uh, a little bit of know-how doesn't mean it's cheesy. some nachos with pulled pork on it that's what i want that sounds good is that a thing where everyone else lives that's a that's a thing where uh, where i grew up oh a little far away Amazing combo? Yeah. It's a faith playthrough, Hamadi. No, I like some cheese on there, wife. Just not that weird, creamy, fake shit. That stuff's gross. Where can you find Catch Flame? You can start with it on the Profit class or you can buy it from uh, Corin at the Round Table Hold. Uh, the Profit guy. I think it's pretty cheap too. It only costs like 800. Yeah, 800 runes, I think. Pretty cheap. Is pairing Ordovis consistently cheesing? I guess so, if we're talking about directly fighting a guy being cheesy. <laughs> Oh man, the fake stuff is the best part. I can't handle it, man. <laughs> I can't handle it. I know it's the more popular thing, though. That's fine if you like it. Hey, folks, thank you for 600 likes on the video. I appreciate it. Your tip not come through? Oh, Anthony, I missed it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Thank you for the $2 super chat, dude. It says, damn it, Josh. Now I want a damn plate of nachos. Get yourself a damn plate of nachos then, man. What are you doing? As I sit here wanting nachos that I don't have access to. <laughs> Sorry I missed it, dude. Thank you for the two. I appreciate it. Of 
the spellbound rumors aren't true i need the melee eh i look at it like this i enjoy when studios give different experiences because it's only going to solidify what we enjoy from them and it's going to be something that they're going to have to they're going to have to really nail it down to make it something enjoyable to their same usual player base i think that's a good thing Expanding their horizons and being capable of more stuff is only going to make things greater in the future. Hey guys, is using Catch Flame cheesy? Hey guys, am I cheesing the game? Hey, Alvis, hope you're doing well. Ruth, have a great night. I'll see you later. It's rap behavior. True. Punk Metal Tau. What's up, man? They give the two bones. Nacho Fund. Big. Big. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Retro Banjo, how's it going, dude? Was spamming L1 and L2 on the Crystallian cheesing? Was it cheesy to use heavy attacks until it's until its poise broke? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> Punk Metal, thank you again. And Paul Benonymous, thank you for the five bones. I really like rice pudding. You should all try some today. Rice pudding's not bad. Rice pudding's not bad. I have to really be in the mood for it, but it's all right. Is it also rap behavior to basic attack your enemy? Petty? You're goddamn right it's petty. When you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> What's up, Jennifer? Watch your Redfall summary video. Well done. The editing was great. What do you think are the game's problems? Uh, first and foremost, the performance is awful. It stutters constantly, which you can see in the video itself. It's not YouTube stuttering, and it isn't the render that stuttered. That's the actual gameplay that stutters. It was pretty poor. The next thing is the AI is dumb as balls. It's so, it's so bad. It's really, really stupid. Really, really stupid. You can, uh, you can go up to a whole group of enemies, shoot one of them in the face, and a lot of the time, the other enemies will not react at all. It's crazy. They just will not react to what happened. They also will try to shoot you through walls and stuff. Like, they'll just sit on the other side of a wall, and they'll just be firing at the wall while trying to hit you, even though there's no way for them to do so. It's, it's so strange. Hey, Emo, how you doing, man? What's up, CTA? Really unfortunate? Yeah. Which sucks because I actually really enjoy Arcane Studios games. Specifically Deathloop. I loved that game. It was so fun. I also enjoyed Dishonored. 
They make some really great games. I've never played Prey, but I know I would like it if I were to play it. I just never got around to it. Oh, that's painful. Your Redfall video is hilarious. I'm glad you liked it, Emo. That's exactly what I'm trying to go for. No matter the quality of a game, I'm just trying to make fun content. That's exactly it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Even though the game is bad, the video is still fun. That's exactly it. Thank you. Retro, thank you for the $2. Our summons cheese? It's a game mechanic. Oh, there's people that call them cheese all day. Yeah. All day. Oh, pain. I assumed you just weren't having fun. No, Ryan, I actually, um, I'll say it like this. I didn't have the greatest time playing the game, but I did have a great time playing the game for the purpose of my video. If that makes sense, right? Overall, like the, making the video the way I did actually made the game more fun because I knew what I was doing to make the, the video more interesting. When it comes to my videos, guys, you, 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 even if the game is received poorly, you should still give my videos a chance because I go out of my way to try to make them fun no matter the quality of the game. That's exactly my goal. I don't play games because they're good. I play games because sometimes I just like to meme. kind of get my health up to like 30 that way i don't have to build it for a while kind of set it and forget it type deal you know what i mean now imagine if the game is fun exactly when the game is fun i'm gonna have great videos around that too and i can't wait i cannot wait it's gonna be a good time but anyways folks i am gonna get out of here for the night if you haven't already left a like on the video make sure you do it would mean a lot to me if you did I'm also going to leave a link to my video in the chat here in just a second. If you haven't gone over there and watched it yet, you should. There's the video. Go over there and watch that. If the link is in chat. Go over there. Leave your, leave your, uh, well, not words. Leave all your love on the video. Check it out and give me your thoughts in the comment section there. I'm really curious to see how many people, uh, dig the style. Don't dig the style. You know what I mean? It's just something, um, it's a new style of video that I'm trying out. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out and stream tonight. I will be streaming more tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Hope to have you here for it. We're just going to keep chilling, playing video games, waiting for Legend of Zelda to drop. Sound good, guys? Go check out that video. Thank you all for chilling with me tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Much love, folks.